What's good? What's happening? How is everybody? Hope everyone is doing well. We are playing Elden Ring. The first Souls game ever made. Um, hope everyone is well. Clicked on a notification immediately. Yes, okay. Um, what do we name the character? I am doing well, thank you for asking. Be back in five minutes, that's perfectly fine. Um, cool. You know what we're gonna do? Grimboy? Valid. Okay, so... We're gonna use all the scythes. We're gonna use every single one. Being that half of them... Scale of Faith, we'll just go all into a Faith build and just have the other two either Sacred Infused or Flame Art Infused. The ones that can be infused, at least. That's probably the play. So... Where's my Confessor? There she is. Golden Seed. Professor Finglebottom. That's too long. How about Grim Finglebottom? <laughs> Finglebottom, is that... Oh, I have to get rid of that. There we go. Okay, which one looks like... A guy that uses a scythe. This one. Yep, cool. We're good. How many are there? There are four in this game. There's actually like four in most games. I think there's like what? Like three in Dark Souls 1. There's two in Demon Souls. There's four in Dark Souls 3. And there's like eight in Dark Souls 2. And every single one in Dark Souls 2 sucks. Black Flame Tornado goes crazy? Yeah, it does. And by the way, tomorrow, every single Ash of War is going to be ranked in a video. I actually had the video done. I just got to upload it. But yeah, all 91 Ashes of War are actually officially ranked. That video is completed. That's what I was doing the past couple days. So I didn't stream yesterday as well because... We was working on that. We was working on that. Finished Dead Space Remake a couple days ago. Really good game. I did hear it was pretty decent. I was going on Taiwan. How are things, man? Yeah, we're going to get the Winged Scythe first, yeah. It does have, like, the highest requirements, but... That's why the Faith tier exists. Easy game. Grave Scythe with a Cult Infusion, I think, is best. It is pretty good. It is pretty good. How would you build for the Royal Greatsword? Um, you go splits... Intelligence and strength, right? You probably want to get more intelligence because I think the AoE of the Ash of War attack actually does scale off that. And just to get more damage out of your spells. Separators like meet the requirements because I think it scales evenly in both int and strength. So it's probably meet the requirements for strength, whatever it is, like 20 something or 30. And let's put the rest of your points into um, good old intelligence. What are the four? I can only remember three. Well, there's the regular scythe, the grave scythe, halo, and winged. Those are your four. So we'll go get the regular... We'll get the winged scythe first. We'll go play around with that for a little bit. Then get the regular scythe. And I kind of want to put flaming strike on that bad boy. I'm not going to lie. Because one thing that... Um, the, the regular scythe does is actually unique. It actually gets a different heavy attack. It gets like a double swiping heavy. So I kind of want to make like a heavy attack build. And it's like spam the charged heavy attacks and see how like well they can actually perform. Because I haven't really done like, you know, a playthrough with the regular scythe before. You can't hear anything. You can't hear the Don't game? Don't forget to smash the like button if you guys are against or like domestic anything. violence. What ring should I run for the Astoria's Greatsword on Dark Souls 3? Um, you could probably go with like the Pontiff Rings, because it actually might proc the attack pretty quickly. Or might proc the buff with the attack. Um, I don't know what else I'm trying to think. <laughs> with the rings like in Dark Souls 3, you just go boost, like stuff that boosts your neutral game. So like stuff for more health, stamina regeneration. There's not really much like damaging boosting rings in that game. Uh, Giga Wicket, it's gone, man. Is that a blood one for the first time? Nice, how is it? How would you do a bleed washing pole build? 
Um, if you want to maximize your bleed, you're going to have to go into a hollow infusion. And go all into luck, basically. Or like a lot of luck, and have yourself be hollowed as well. That's if you want to go like all into bleed. Um, otherwise, you could just go dexterity. Keen inf uh, sharp infusion, and just go use like Karthus Rouge. That could still somewhat work and get some nice damage. You have to farm for the Grave Scythe? No, we don't have to farm for it because we can have Cheat Engine, so... <laughs> cheat Engine that works wonders. Doing a challenge where I defeat every FromSoft Souls boss. There's one game left. Nice. Hopefully it goes well. Thoughts on the undisputed best weapon in the game, the Vyx War Spear. Um... I did a run with it like a couple months back. You can go check out that playthrough. It's kind of mid. I still don't hear anything. Can you guys... I mean, people are responding to me, so... My, o my OBS is kind of glitching out, though. Yeah, Hollow is basically like an occult infusion, yeah. Hollow and Luck is kind of like occult and arcane in this game, just like... It's not as good in Dark Souls 3. Ah, uh, Pandemonium, what's going on, man? Audio is good? Okay, cool. When is the Whip Marathon? Okay, chat. So the next marathon, it's either going to be, I don't know. The, th the stuff that we have on the list is either a level one marathon, a front flipping marathon where I beat all the games using front flipping attacks. Um, a bow marathon or a whip marathon. That's basically on the menu. One of those. You're back? Okay, cool. What's good? Not much. Just playing Elden Ring. Good old Scythe Marathon. Can't wait to try Elden Ring's Moonlight Greatsword. Tried it in Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3. They're actually pretty good. Pretty good in all the games, but yeah, Elden Ring probably has the best one in terms of uh, performance, at least. Level 1? Thoughts on crossbows? Um, Mid. They don't get scalings, so I don't care. Does Elden Ring have any front flip attacks? Yeah, Lion's Claw. The heavy attack with the giant crusher. Hello? Could you forget Lion's Claw? How can I support your content? You can just watch it, my guy. If you just watch the content, subscribing and liking and stuff like that, that's like the only thing. Anything that you can really do. You can just watch it, it's perfectly fine. Hollow washing pole only does 38 bleed, is it worth it? I think when you spec into more luck, it improves the blood loss build up. Look, when you're doing the hollow based build, you're kind of sacrificing damage and not many enemies in the game can be blood out. And even if you go all onto like luck, it's still not going to boost up by that much. Like bleed is not as good in Dark Souls 3 as it is in this game. So... I recommend just going into like a sharp infusion, just go to dexterity and just go use Karthus Rouge buff because you can get the ashes for the Karthus Rouge pretty early on in the catacombs and you could just use those. See my YouTube video about the Moonlight Swords? Yes. Good video. I agree. Lightning is goaded in Dark Souls 3. We need some Faith Intelligence Deathbird themed scythe. Sounds pretty fucking cool. I can get behind something like that. Honestly, the more scythes, the better, because we don't have enough. We don't have enough. There's only four. Not enough. It's cool that you can see the Halic Tree all the way from Altus. It is pretty cool. Okay, so whereabouts is the winged scythe in this area? It's like one of these dungeons, right? I forget which one. I think it's like the one... Before Selen, right? I think it's before- I forget. I think it's on its way to like the- That's fine. We'll just go through every single little- Every little crevice. Love all the knowledge that you share with the Souls community. Thanks for your hard work. Oh, thank you, Lord. Appreciate it. Glad you enjoy it. And yeah, are you guys gonna buy a Stellar Blade? Are you guys going to play Stellar Blade? Or no? That weird, like, you know, overly sexualized, secular style game. That one. 
Anybody excited for WrestleMania? That's, that's not the topic. Not the topic right now. <laughs> Ask Guy Guy, what's going on, man? I'm a PS4 player? Oh, sorry, it's just on PS5. True. I'd rather play Rise of Ronin. Okay. No? Faith, strength, build. Looks a bit scuffed. Need to see more of it? I mean, there's a demo. You could go play the demo. I played the demo and it was actually pretty good. I liked it. I might, I might play it. Cause I, it's like one of like the best. I think it's like the highest I'm pre-ordering game right now on the PS5. And if a lot of people are playing it, I might play it and make some videos. We'll see. But it is a PS5 exclusive, so it's not gonna get like amazing viewership. It's not overly sexualized. Yes, it is. <laughs> I saw like the f we played like the de the demo, like the first like two cutscenes. I think it's in here, right? Like the first frame, you just saw some like thick ass. Yeah, that's that a thick ass. Here it is. We found it. And have you seen some of the outfits in that game? <laughs> it's literally like a laundry outfit. It's a hundred percent a Kumar game. Yeah. Hair looking shop, I agree. She's definitely be thick. Okay. That is that. Just my type of game. <laughs> I join and all I hear is a thick ass. But we're talking about Stellar Blade. The game that comes out that has the protagonist that has the thick ass, basically. Give me this. Mm -mm, Stellar Blade is just Bayonetta if it was a Souls-like. Why? Because the protagonists are thick? Or what? <laughs> Is that like the only similarity? I don't know. I haven't played Bayonetta. I don't know what the gameplay is like. It kind of seems more Sekiro styled, right? It's like Sekiro Devil May Cry. I'm, I don't know what Bayonetta. Did the stream end? No, it's fine on my end. What should I do if the Revenger's Shack motherfucker doesn't spawn? The Revenger's Shack? Like the bell bearing hunter dude? It has to be like nighttime, right? Are you talking about that guy or Yeah, he spawns at night. Bayonetta one and two are pretty good. Three was crap, not gonna lie. I am play it, sir. I do not know. The golden seed system is stupid? I don't think so. I think the Golden Seed system is fine. I think it's fine. I'm doing a Holy Magic Only challenge. Well, basically it's gonna turn into a Discus of Light Only run once you get towards the end. Because the Holy Spells are kinda ass. There's too many golden seeds that you can miss, but you can afford to miss a bunch of golden seeds. It's not like in the other games how you have to pick up like every single one to max it out. In this game, you can miss a whole bunch and still get a decently leveled flask. I actually like the system. And I feel like they're easier to spot in this game than they are in the other games, you know? They're actually harder to miss because they're right next to a big bright tree, you know? <laughs> I think, um, I think it's a lot better than what they did in the other the other games, 100%. And most of the golden seeds are like on like the main path. Like they're not really that, that out of the way. So yeah, I don't know.
I've never heard that complaint before. What do you think is the next FromSoft game? What do I think the next one is? I don't know. <laughs> like, we've never predicted any, like, FromSoft game. Like, who knows what aesthetic they're gonna end up choosing. It'll probably be, like, some random game. I don't think it's gonna be a sequel. I don't think they like making sequels, which is definitely a good thing. Um... Anyway, Scythe. Ew, 16 dexterity. I could just do the faith tier, but 16 dexterity is cringe. That's fine. Mm -mm -mm. Why use the cooler spell if it costs more and does less DPS? What's, what's this for? What's two things that we're comparing? I just hope they just do it like something different, like a different aesthetic for their next game. A pirate game, a dinosaur game, something in space. I know, something random and different. I don't want the same shit. Give me something different. Dark Souls 3 power spells are better than the basic fireball, right? Huh? The later spells? Yeah. I can't kill this guy just yet. Wait. No. Not gonna bother. Actually, let's go kill him. Actually, I'm gonna go with the faith build. Yeah. Who cares? Caveman souls? Yes. Caveman souls. A proper horror game? No! I don't like horror. Not for me. Something Japanese is cool? I already have like... One. <laughs> That's enough. On to the next. Should I make the Astora's Greatsword shop? I think so, yes. Holy damage had so much potential and it just flopped. Um, yeah, I guess. I don't know about like potential, like it <laughs> has like just as much potential as all the other damage types, right? Mythological take on Mesoamerican society would be cool. <laughs> I guess, I don't know. I mean, either way, they always end up like phasing different types of aesthetics together anyway. It's not really just a particular thing. Like even for a Bloodborne, it's not really just... It, like it started off like werewolves and stuff. And then it phased into something different, so... Pirates, yeah, pirate souls would be cool. Anything I want is for a new game to be affordable. Um, a game that From Software is gonna make is not going to be on the cheaper side. They're a AAA studio now, so if you want to buy a FromSoft game, it's not going to be at a cheaper price unless you buy it like two years later and wait for a sale. But yeah. That's about it. There's plenty of Souls like games that come out that are cheap, so. Either way, games are like cheap in the grand scheme of things. Dark Souls Remastered is 33. Yes. Yeah, goes what, five years later? Four years? I don't know. Something to do with something. I want to do another playthrough before the DLC. Is there any good Faith, Dex, Strength options that aren't Blasphemous? What, Faith, Dex, and Strength? Why do you need Strength and Dexterity? Is it because you want to, like, don't want to respec with, like, your same build? Or... Um, I think the... Uh, the bubble weapons are pretty good for those scalings. 
Like the envoy's long horn. Regular envoy's horn. What would you want more? Dark Souls 2 or Bloodborne Re- I'd rather have a Bloodborne Remaster. Because Bloodborne Remaster- Bloodborne has like the worst quality of life. Dark Souls 2 doesn't need a remaster, it just... Yeah, it doesn't need a remaster. Bloodborne does. Dark Souls 2 needs a bit more <laughs> than a remaster. Honestly, it doesn't need anything. Like, it serves its purpose as a game that exists. Ah, Burnin, it's gone, man. <laughs> Dark Souls 2 needs exorcism, yeah. <laughs> needs to be deleted. Forgot that it ever exists. A Souls game that uses wands instead of weapons and pure magic would be cool. Um, I don't know about all that. I, st I still think you need to make it melee combat, otherwise boss fights would be super cringe. Ow! I missed. What would you want for quality of life and Bloodborne? Oof. Look, when Bloodborne Remaster gets announced, I'm gonna make a video on it. And it'll be like an hour long video. <laughs> Just talking about everything that needs to be added in a remaster for Bloodborne. Um, starting off with number one thing. Let us remap the buttons so I actually can get rid of circle jump. Number one priority. Um, have the lamp work like a bonfire. Let me rest at it. Let me teleport to different lamps. When I go back to the Hunter's Dream or teleport anywhere, like automatically replenish my items and my health, that would be good too. <laughs> um, trying to think, trying to think. Um, let us respec our character, that'd be cool. Don't go straight to New Game Plus, that would also be pretty cool. Yeah, finite. I don't think they're going to be able to change that in a remaster. But if they did change finite healing, that'd be somewhat cool. It would be cool. Honestly, you could just make it that you just have infinite healing. Like, you still have your 20 flasks, but like, just make it infinite. Or your blood vials, I mean. Like, there's nothing against making it infinite. Like, what's what do they have? Like, why do they want us to farm for blood vials? Like... Like, you can still have enemies drop blood vials to make it to where if you use them throughout your, like, you know, the level, you can still pick some more up along the way. But, like, there's nothing... It wouldn't be broken if they just gave us an infinite amount. Have you played Sifu? I have not played Sifu. Never had a blood vial issue on Bloodborne? When you're doing challenge runs, there's definitely a blood vial issue. And honestly, for a lot of shit gamers out there, there's a... <laughs> if you're just playing bad as well. Like, if you just have, like, a shit experience. You're just playing bad on the day. You just, like, lose, like, so many blood vials, and you have to buy so many, and... The thing is, in Bloodborne, like, bosses give you, like, no, like, blood echoes. And you have to spend a lot of your souls... A lot of your blood echoes just buying blood vials. And there's, like, no boss souls as well, so, like, you really get... Yeah, no. There's been a few times I had to farm for them. Mm -mm -mm. You can make an undirect new game plus by letting the moon presence alive? By leaving the moon presence? What do you mean? Dark Souls 1 gives you 20 flasks? Yeah. So I think Dark Souls 1 has the best healing system with Kindling. I disagree. I mean, if Kindling worked across all the bonfires, it'd be fine, but you have to, like, kindle a specific bonfire. Which is kind of stupid. Can you go away now? Ah, Fishman, what's up? Um, Alejandro? What's going on? Just kill German and don't kill the Moon Presence? What do you mean? Like, you still got a new game plus no matter what final, like, I don't know, as soon as you see, like, the final cutscene, right? Like, I don't know, like, what I'm asking is for, like, not go straight to new game plus. Like, what it does in Dark Souls 3 and, you know, Elden Ring, how it says, do you want to start Journey 2? Then you click no. That's basically it. <laughs> That's what I'm asking for. 
What happened yesterday? I didn't stream yesterday. I was busy doing some other shit. I was like, I gotta do a whole bunch of stuff. I gotta go work on this video. I gotta go get a haircut. I wanna play fucking some other games. So I was like, you know what? <laughs> Let's just take the day off. See you, buddy. Big dinner watching my favorite yapper. I don't yap that much. Oh, yes, Daddy. Why is it Bisswatch is doing dodging all my charged heavies? <laughs> Skill issue. Is it confirmed that the character in the original DLC trailer is Mikola? I mean, it's not confirmed, but it's like all but confirmed, I guess. Kinda gets to pre-order the Shadow of the Earth Tree, so happy? Nice. Have you guys pre-ordered Shadow of the Earth Tree yet? Or no? And will you? It is Michael Zaki said? Okay, cool. It is confirmed, Michael Zaki said. Bro, move around! <laughs> Why am I even going up this way? Oh, that's fine. We'll get it anyway. Pre-order at the last minute? That's probably what I'm gonna do as well. I still haven't pre-ordered it. It'd be like a week before, it'd be like, hey fuck, I haven't pre-ordered it. Why did I miss yesterday? Because I was doing other things. I had like stuff that I had to do, like I was making that Ash of War video, and I was gonna take a while, I needed to get a haircut, I wanted to play Destiny, and I was like, you know what? <laughs> Let's take another day off. Bought the game with the DLC, this is my first Souls game? Nice. How are you enjoying it? Are you a PvP guy? I like PvP. PvP just does not like me. Try to pre-order the Collector's Edition, but it was sold out, yeah. Yeah. It tends to be that way with Collector's Editions. They don't last very long. Mm. I just missed that beautiful nose. That's valid. The nose is back. Have final exams. When I, f I finish, I'll play the DLC. Fair enough. That makes sense. Okay, so we need 16 dexterity. And... I don't know, we're going to like 16 strength as well. Because, you know, why not? Go into a little bit of that, some of that too. Good enough. Don't forget to smash the like button if you guys are against domestic violence. Yes, definitely do that. Redditors don't like PvP? Um, probably not, no. Redditors don't have friends, and they don't like communicating with other people. So they don't like PvP. So you ready for this Tuesday? What's this Tuesday? And why are you ready for it? <laughs> yeah, Radagon Elden Beast should have been like... I mean, like, the... Radagon Beast should have been like Elm Gurman and Moon Presence in the way that... Radagon should have had like an actual, actual second phase. And Moon Presence... Should have been like a secret boss fight that you do via like a quest line or some shit, you know? That's what it should have been like. It probably wouldn't have made sense lore-wise, but you can make it make sense. I don't care. <laughs> Should I just remove the Elden Beast? Look, I think the Elden Beast is still a good boss fight. I don't think it's like a good final boss fight. Especially like since the run that we've had with final boss fights. Oh, the Destiny 2 event. True. Um, like who have we had? Soul of Cinder. Ishin. That's like two in a row. But still, <laughs> that's a pretty good run. And Radagon was looking really good, and then Elden Beast came along. Which is a good fight. I like Elden Beast. 
I like him better than a lot of other boss fights in this game. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'd honestly put him in my top 10. But, you know, he's a final boss, which is like the worst thing about him. Not much of a downside, Huey, I guess. Wanna hear a joke? What do you get when a cop starts an investigation? Tiramisu green thumb drive, ha ha. I didn't get it. Phase 2 Marika would have been better. Yeah. Would have been cool. German is a good final boss if you just don't get the cords. I don't even like German like that as well. <laughs> But he's cool. Still better than Elven Beast, I suppose. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, lost. What's going on, man? Let's go kill some stuff. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Bro, this skill is so ass. I mean, it's just for PvP, but still. Favorite boss in the series, Gale. With how much presence Marika has in the lore, I'm surprised we never got to fight her. Maybe she'll make an appearance in the DLC. Maybe they'll like do a saving her for something just in case, you know. Millennia should be the last boss. No, absolutely not. <laughs> it wouldn't even make much sense as well. Like Millennia, if they made Millennia the last boss, she would not have been that hard. They wish it would not have been that hard. Twin Princes are my favorite boss. That's a good fight. That's valid. Everyone would compl they would have had to nerf Millennia if the if she was like not an over if she was not a um what do you call it an optional boss. Favorite boss is Dark Lurker? Really? Millennia is overrated? Why do you think that? This thing should have like healed you or some shit. I don't know. This skill like sucks ass. I mean, it's just for PvP, I guess, but... It's just like Loretta Slash, but worse. Because it does holy damage. That's why it's worse. Fair boss is German. Like the last few marathons that I've been doing playing Bloodborne, the German fights have been so ass. Like fighting German without using your gun is like super cringe. Not fun. It's funny how like it puts like the effect of him like not being able to heal, like that smoky effect. But, like he can't even heal anyway, so like what difference does it make? Lady Maria is way better than Millennia. Um I don't know about way better, but I do like her better. I like the Maria fight more. And I, li I like Millennia, though. I think she's really cool. I mean, a lot of, like, Elden Ring boss fights, you're only gonna really like them once you, like, really memorize their movesets. The damage thing's so bad. It's only at plus zero, so... Charged heavy attack. I'm gonna go Alexander. Demon Prince is the best gank boss fight, that is correct. Like with Millennia, after I fought her like a thousand times. <laughs> I was like, this boss fight is actually really good. Now I can like beat her without getting hit and stuff like that. And it's like, pretty pretty fun. There are some things I don't like about it. Like some mix-up are kind of cringe and some RNG aspects are kind of annoying. She's like very over, like overly designed as a boss fight, but... That's okay. She's allowed to be. Um, I don't need that. 
Can I kill Alexander before I forget? Ah, Fenor, it's gone, man. Melania is the one I can fight for hours and not get sick of it, really? The healing on hits mechanic? Yeah, I mean, that is like designed her to be bullshit, so. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> Overuse of delayed attacks? I mean, that's only true for like some bosses. Like, Godric and Margaret just spam delayed attacks all the time, and I fucking hate it. <laughs> I think Margaret and Godric are actually, like, just bad boss fights, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think they're even, like, good. Like, or possible as good. I think they're just straight up fucking suck. Don't know why we didn't get an Albaniric Cartwheel Ash of War. Yeah. Maybe we got one on the DLC. At the very least, we got Lightning Ram. Lightning Ram is a good alternative. But a cartwheel Ash would have been pretty cool. Favorite Elden Ring build? I don't think I have one. Oh! It's like, why is my shit deflecting off? <laughs> That's right. It staggers him! Nice! More on what I said about how I hate her healing mechanic. I hate it more so because even if you 100% block all damage or parry her, she still will heal from that hit. But it's necessary though. It has to work like that for her to be a bullshit boss. There can't be any method to cheese her. <laughs> I mean, there's plenty of methods to cheese her with certain weapons, but yeah. <laughs> it has to be that way. Mm-mm. How could you like Millennia and not Margots? Margots? The guy that spams delayed attacks like left and right and roll catching attacks all the time? Fuck no. <laughs> Millennia is a fantastic boss fight. She actually, that boss fight actually flows nicely. I can more consistently no hit Millennia than I can Margot. And that's telling <laughs> of how dog shit that boss fight is. <laughs> she heals from Raptor Asher War, she does, yeah. Do you like Morgoth? Morgoth is a fantastic boss fight. Yeah, Morgoth's really good. I don't like Margot at all. Do not fucking care for that guy. How passive. She's very passive. Why you know Grave Scythe? The run has just started. We're gonna use all four of them. We're using all of the Grave Scythe. All, all the Scythes. We use them all for a little bit. We'll use the Grave Scythe later on. We're gonna use this Scythe for like the first few bosses. Then we're gonna use the regular Scythe, which I can get in this area, I believe. I think it's like the first dungeon. How many hours of Elden Ring did you play in the first week? Like a hundred? <laughs> I took like the week off work and I just played like 12 hours a day. So it's 12 times 7. Probably not 100, but a lot. And the funny thing is, I don't even like remember my first playthrough. I don't even like remember it. After playing it that much, I guess like the whole thing just blurred together. Bro, your hair looking crazy today. My hair is cute as always. But yeah, I got a fresh fucking fade. First Elden Ring session was over 30 hours. I think mine was... Mine was 100 hours. I was very thorough with my exploration. Lots and lots of exploring. Just went to the game blind and... Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. 84 hours. Cool. So it's probably about 80 hours on my first playthrough. Or my first week playing the game. Got the TikTok hair? I don't know what the fuck that means. I mean, the hairstyle of which I have is a popular hairstyle, I suppose. But I have, like, I have curly hair and a shit fucking hairline. Like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> My hairline sucks. And I have curly hair. And I have, like, thick hair as well. So, like, there's not, like, there's no other alternative, really. Go down! Do you think Moga's a good boss? Yes. 
too long on the top. How's my hairline bad? Because my hairline does like this weird fucking bouncy shit. I used to have like just a box cut in high school. I didn't actually used to like grow my hair out. And then every single time like the barbers try to line my shit up, it was always still fucked anyway because like the hairline just made it look worse. So like it could never really be straight. Pause. Where the fuck is the grace? So there's a grace around here. Here it is. First one was with a sword of night and flame. Unreleased, came across it organically too. Nice. I like your hair. I had a bowl cut. Still do. <laughs> Still do. <laughs> nice. Okay, how do I have to go this way? More running. I can't always be straight either. <laughs> Tell my barber onto Asmin here. My shit looking clean, it's fine. When you were pulling up to the Riz party? I'm not gonna be there. Is there Golden Habit on my first playthrough? I remember like power sensing curved swords and straight swords uh, throughout my playthrough. Um, but I had them wholly infused, so. <laughs> Where the fuck is this dungeon, by the way? A chair! Where is this dungeon? It's not further down, right? No, it has to be there. I probably just missed it. You're the worst type of gamer. What did I even do? I've done nothing wrong. It's literally right here. Why don't you farm the Grave Scythe? Um, because I could just use Cheat Engine to grab it. And we're gonna use all the Scythes, so I'm not gonna just use one. What the fuck are you doing here? <sighs> we're gonna go play with all of the Scythes. Can you fuck off? That's it, you're getting it now, buddy. Bloodborne has the best atmosphere objectively. Okay. I think Demon Souls is right there alongside with it. Maybe maybe second. I don't think anybody um argues that though, right? <laughs> is that even like a hot take? I don't think so. This one actually have to go down, I forget. Definitely not going down. No. I'm here to get Scythe. Where is Scythe? I'm pretty sure it's in this dungeon. If it's not, then I might cry. Is it like up there? I don't know. Maybe it is. Turn brightness up, it's dark as fuck, boy, eh? Wait, does it require a stupid... Oh, it doesn't require a stone sword key, does it? Steven! What's over here? It's all the way at the ends, no key needed. Okay, cool. At least somebody knows what's going on here. Thank you. Turn up the brightness, it's dark as fuck. It adds to the aesthetic, okay? It's a Dark Souls-like, has to be dark. Is this the scythe? We found the scythe. Huge. What's over here? Ah, uh, Mario, thank you for the follow. I can't say it's too dark. Um, how do I get to the level? Hold on a second. Where is the level? Chat, where is the level? <laughs> Did I have to go down? I don't know. I have the fucking scythe. That's all that matters. We don't need to clear out that area anyway. Scythe has been acquired. How does Dark Souls 3 have more boss weapons than Elden Ring? How does Dark Souls 3 have more boss weapons than Elden Ring? 
I mean, if you're just looking at Remembrance bosses, there is... Compared to, like, boss, regular bosses in Dark Souls 3, there's more bosses in Dark Souls 3, right? I mean, the thing is, there's, like, way more boss weapons in this game. But, like, we just don't count them as boss weapons, you know? Like, look at all the weapons that you get off, like, dungeon bosses. <coughs> They're technically boss weapons. When you really think about it. Apologize to Steven. Steven's gonna get a shout out in tomorrow's video. When I rank every single Ash of War. Because obviously Steven is there in every single clip. Any single time that there's a ranking video in Elden Ring, Steven just has to die. <laughs> it is what it is. Do we use Sunlight Blade or Dark Moon Blade? Um, we talked about Dark Souls 1, right? Why am I here? I don't know. Where am I going? We're going this way. We're gonna go to EG. Um, yes. What am I talking about? I forget. Whatever, whoever answered that question, yes. Oh yes, use Sunlight Blade. Sunlight Blade, better. But Dark Moon Blade, I think is Yeah, Sunlight Blade's easier to acquire. I mean, there's the boss weapons? Well, like, there's more boss- There's more bosses in Dark Souls 3 if you're just comparing it to Remembrances, right? There's more- Right? <laughs> there's more bosses in Dark Souls 3 than there are Remembrance bosses in Elden Ring. And it includes, like, the DLC as well. Like, the Elden Ring hasn't gotten its DLC yet. Anyway. Using any scythe or just the ones named scythe? We're gonna use the f one of the four reapers, or uh, all four reapers. Those ones. The ones that fall under the reaper class. I have to go sell some stuff so I can go buy some stuff. Okay. Strengthen armament. Cool. Ew, why is everything so expensive? And plus three is good enough. We're gonna get a plus four later. Let's go kill Godric. Yeah. Yeah. Go kill Godric. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, Zainab, what's going on? It's been years? Yeah. <laughs> Taking a two-day break and everyone just like just cries. Immediate panic. Dark Souls 3 also has three boss souls from non-bosses, yeah. Who are you to say that they're not a boss? Leave them alone. Hope Elden Ring DLC gives more unique weapon types. As remembrances, I don't want more great swords. You don't want more greatswords? I don't think they're gonna add any more greatswords. They'll probably be like one more, but... I think they're going to add them as part of like one of their like, you know... Eight new weapon classes. The DLC will have a Steven as a comparison, yeah. Depending on how the DLC goes and what enemies are in the DLC, Steven might retire. We might retire Steven. As my damage testing dummy. I am doing well. Yeah, I need a couple days left of fasting, that's true. Mesmer's Great Spear looks cool. I agree. A straight sword with blade would be fucking fantastic. You ever take a real vacation, like go somewhere a week or two? No. I don't really care to travel anywhere, you know? Like there's nowhere that I really like want to go. How many times you try to beat the Tree Sentinel? I don't really ever fight the Tree Sentinel. It doesn't give me anything that I need. I feel like there was like a reason as to why I didn't want to go to the Altus Plateau because it did something about something. 
Oh, that's right. I want to go to Red Main Castle. So I can make my Scythe Flame Mod infused. We've got to do that before we go to... Altus. I could just go Redon. We're going to pick this up. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> Another straight sword with a descaling and intelligence, yeah. We only have six. I would, I would gladly trade every single magic straight sword we have just for one bleed straight sword. Doing all Reapers in one playthrough? Yeah, all in one playthrough. We'll probably just use this one for like the first few bosses. Yeah, we'll probably do that. Might kill this guy though. Might go kill Radon. Ugh. Every single boss that I've been fighting is resist a holy death. Actually, we'll probably just go through Red Main Castle after this. I want to go get Flaming Strike. Um, we're going to get Flame Gummy Strength too. Because I want to put Flaming Strike on my Scythe and I want to make it Flame Mod infused as well. There's nothing I really need in the outside plateau anyway. I watched that March Madness game. I'll be back in a bit. Nice. All good, man. I don't think the dragon likes being caressed like that. <laughs> Probably not. Ah, hearts. What's going on? How are things? Okay, so there is a chance that I actually might start the streams like later on than I usually do. Like, there might be a chance that I end up starting it about this time because daylight savings, like, just ended over here. And normally I start the stream at 9 o'clock, and it's 9 o'clock right now. Two of the Reapers are rare enemy drops. Yeah, we're not gonna farm them, though. We're just gonna... The good old cheat of engine. Engine that cheats. Can you poise break, please? Thank you. They ruined my scythe for post animation. It should be stabbing instead. Wow. Die. Die. What's everyone's thoughts on scythes? Do you like them or not? Scythes are always just like, okay. Except for in Dark Souls 1, because they're like halberds, I guess. But they look cool, though. Did it the other night, tried to get early game Blasphemous Blade build. Grabbed all I wanted from Altus Plateau and managed to keep the festival from starting. Nice. <clears throat> Used the wing scythe for my first half of the playthrough. And how did that work out? I do like sites, but they move slow. Haven't used them much. Liked it a lot, but they fell off hard. Yeah. But honestly, like, most of like the early game bosses are um, holy, re holy resist too. Oh, unlucky, buddy. Unlucky. GG. Okay, I probably want to go kill the dog and Renala with this weapon. Just to actually fight a boss that's not resist to holy damage. That'd be cool. The basic scythe because of the double hit R2. Yeah, we're going to be spamming the regular heavy attack or the charged heavy. A whole bunch with the regular scythe. What's the requirements? Okay, cool. 14, 14. That's not bad. I can live with that. That's livable. Favorite weapon in the game? The weapon art is amazing. I based the game only with it. Nice. Well, then I, presume. I mean, I'd still like never really use it over like Loretta's Scythe or Loretta's Slash because it gets like the exact same skill and you can put that on like, you know, something that's not doing holy damage. 
and it could just work better. What Ash were we gonna put on the scythe? I'll probably just put Flaming Strike just to buff it and then spam like the skill. I don't know. Oh, I don't have the key! And what like weapon skills should I use? What Ash award do you want me to use with the stuff? I'm trying to like pick something like actually interesting and unique and not like, you know, something broken. We're gonna go with like... We're gonna go with a faith build. So I'm gonna make it flame art or sacred infused. We're already committing to a faith build. We're not gonna use blood flame, no. Don't try to think of like a meta option. Like, <laughs> just trying to think of something cool. Ground slam, but something that hits with the scythe. <laughs> something that actually like, you know, benefits off like the scythe playthrough, you know? It's like sword dance, maybe I could do spinning slash. I won't only be using it, but... It's still a scythe marathon, so... Phantom Slash? No, it doesn't really hit with just a scythe. Finally home, been driving for two hours? What are you doing driving for two hours? Why? Definitely Soul Dance. Where do I get Soul Dance from? I am gonna be using all four scythes this run, yeah. We're gonna switch to the regular scythe after, um... After Renala. And Leonia? That doesn't really like narrow it down much, you know? I could use Stormcaller. Random Scarab in Leonia. I could look it up, it's fine. Does Spectral Lens work on Reapers? No. It does not. Sword Dance. Elden Ring. Map. Show me map, where you at? Okay, that one, cool. Oh, I know where it is. I know now, yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Time to get parried by Moongrub? Hell no. What I should have done is pre spec into a bit more faith. I should have went into like 20 faith instead. I'll probably just pop the remembrance and just go to 20 faith. Chuck on the two finger heirloom. Probably the strategy. I should be studying. Oh, good. <laughs> See ya, Edward. No, go away. Stop that. Double kill. Oh, come on, dude. Just wait. Wait. I said wait. Okay, cool. Does Raptor of the Mist work on the scythe? I think Raptor of the Mist works on everything, yeah. What's with these guys? Go away. Imagine if the Wing Scythe Ash were stuff bosses were actually using self heals. It would have been somewhat cool. It would have been nice. But unfortunately, that is not the case. Okay, we need four points. Yeah. Good enough. Cool. Ah, uh, Gabriel, what's going on, man? You're so lit. Yeah. Sacred Blade or Sacred Ring of Light? Are you asking which one is better, or are you asking me to use either one? I mean, actually, Pro can get Sacred Ring of Light and just chuck it on, like, a, a Scythe. And just compare it to the Halo Scythe. It would just be worse, because, like, the Halo Scythe is just obviously better. It's not the same thing as the Halo Scythe. Halo Scythe 1 is called Mikula's Ring of Light. 
That one does more damage, goes further, staggers enemies. So this is better. Mm -mm, it's very similar though. Like same animation. I think um Sega Ring of Light is cheaper, but like two FP. But um it's worse though. Fuck you, dog. Most annoying Elden Ring quest, and why is it Salubis's? Um... I don't know. I haven't, like, done all the Elden Ring quests, so I don't even know which ones are, like, the actual worst. I'm not gonna lie. Do you see my comments on your TikTok post? I'd never, like, check my, check my um, TikTok comments, honestly. Man, I'm checking every now and then. I'll probably, like, go into it and just, like, see what the people are saying, and then that's about it. All the quests are shit. Some of the best crouching r ones in the entire game. Isn't it just like a sideward swipe? Bad dog. Ew, recovery frames. Miss. Thank you. I missed. You missed. I missed again. I don't like this dog. Matter of fact, I don't like any dog. Selen's quest line is shit? Yes. All the quest lines suck. None of them are good. Favorite scythe so far? I mean, I've been playing for like an hour. I've only, I've only used this scythe, but... I mean, the best scythe in the game is probably the Grave Scythe or the Halo Scythe. Probably the Grave Scythe. More versatile. Um, what are you doing? I don't know, let's go bigger, I guess. Flasks. Go into another blue flask, because why not? I didn't get Golden Bell. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? Overall great for the scythe arsenal, yeah. I forget where I put Loretta's Slash in my list. I think I put it like... Did I put it in the B or the A tier? I forget. Is this good against enemies that can get staggered and against like bosses that can't be? It's kind of shit. Seventeen FP. How much is Loretta's slash? A killing Jaren for the dagger because he looks like Gale. Wait, you have to go kill Jaren for like Selen's questline? Uh, Ali, what's going on? Didn't think you were streaming today. Wow, fake Yui fan. We're gonna kill Moongrum. He's dying. Wait, can I be parried? I don't think so, right? He took his shield off. He's vulnerable. Nice. Well, we know what we're gonna be using against NPCs. Go up. Don't call me fake. Said Sunday, I forgot you're in Australia. Where are my, like, real Yui fans notifying my Discord to be like, Hey, look, Yui is streaming. And post a link. No real Yui fans, ever. To finally complete my 100% achievement run on Elden Ring on PC, I did a keen Raptor Claws run. Build was incredibly strong and fun to play with. Yes, the Raptor Talons is really good. 
Unfortunately, you have to. Interesting. It's my favorite scythe up until now. Um, well, I've only been playing with this one in this playthrough, but um, it probably ended up being the Grave Scythe. I think that one's the coolest one. Because <laughs> it looks really cool and it does the most damage. But I am interested to see how the um, regular scythe performs. We'll go switch to the regular scythe after this and just go spam charged heavy attacks because that'll be cool. Gosh. Favorite scythe in the Soul series? Probably this Dark Souls 1 Great Scythe. It's really cool. Or like the Burial Blade, I guess. I oh, don't know. The Burial Blade playthrough that I had in thing was ass. What ah, Sly, thanks for the 300 bits, man. Similar to every Int Glint Stone spell and which talismans do you regiment for Great Star? Wait, the best faith spells similar to... The best faith spells similar to the Glintstone spells? What do you mean by that? I only realized you were streaming because of your Discord status. Okay, that's fair. Can you just die, you stupid child? Drink the juice. And talismans for the great stars? Well, it depends on like what build that you're gonna go with. Dark Souls 3 has cool true combos with the great scythe. Um, so does this game. So does this game. Boof. I don't like getting staggered by books, I'm not gonna lie. How much damage does that do? <laughs> Zero damage, I just completely whiffed. Nice. Hell yeah. How do you not get burnt out of Elden Ring? I'm so burnt out of the... And I started replaying Dark Souls 3. Because this makes me money. And my alternative is getting a real job. So yeah. I like to grind. I'm a grinder. Wait. I don't know. My beloved. I know, what are you going to pair alongside your great stars, Sly? What weapon skill are you using? Yeah, you can get the great scythe right at the beginning of the game. I got a new job, nice! What's your new job? I get okay, not that type of grinder, you guys are... <laughs> That's not the grinder I meant. Been using the Great Scythe for my last Elden Ring playthrough, or the Grave Scythe? It's pretty good stuff. I work at a smoke shop now. Do you think it would be good fun? At this smoking shop. Of the last queen of Caria. Um, gave Nefeli the potion and found the puppet in the room, but Salubus won't sell me anything. I just want Ice Crag and my talisman. I think you have to go buy one of his things, right? Did the you have to buy some of this shit or go get some other stuff? I forget. Salivus' questline is doo-doo trash. I like your honesty. Thank you. When was I being honest again? I don't know. Is that like pretending to something in particular or... Come back! Is there a sleep mist ash of war? There is on the, um, the Saint Trina's sword. But it's not like an ash of war, it's just a weapon skill. You can't like equip it onto anything else. Just for the Saint Trina's sword. One of the, um, five magic straight- or six magic straight swords in the game, they get a descaling and intelligence. Pretty cool stuff. Well, she's dead. Didn't even get to summon. Hell yeah. Nice. I should be saving this gameplay. What's the most fun scythe? We'll see. I think the regular scythe has the potential to be the best one, because it has, like, all the most fun, because of this cool heavy attack that it gets. Because, like, the skills that the the winged scythe gets is still very similar to, like, Loretta Slash, and that one could just be better. 
And then... The Halo Scythe is still similar to Sacred Ring of Light, although it's just like a better version. So I think the ones that can be infused are just going to be the most fun. She was being super nice that run, or well, it doesn't really matter much when she just got stun locked, so... Nothing she could have done there. Which one is better, the Greatsword or Samurai? What do you mean by that? The Greatsword or a Samurai? Huh? Faith. I was only five. Cool, my bad. My bad. Um, oh, you know what we gotta do? I gotta go get some smithing ones and twos. You're one follower off my goal? I mean, I just keep changing my goal as soon as we hit it, so... It's not really like the end goal. <laughs> Basically, I keep like increasing it by 100. I can grind forever in Monster Hunter. Can't wait for the new one. Nice. Change it to 2800 before you can hit 2700. <laughs> it's fine. All I gotta do is just ring customers up for in the cast register. That sounds pretty cool. Sounds pretty chill. I didn't hit up the grace, did I? Silly buffoon. Ah, uh, Graylings. Thank you for the follow, man. We've been going down. We hit our followers goal, guys. 2,700 followers on Twitch. What a huge amount. Everyone's getting free drinks. Next, I have big Twitch streamer, exactly. Basically bigger than, like, XQC and Kaisenat. Generally thought about becoming a streamer just for the new Monster Hunter. Might as well. Like, if you're gonna play it, just... Might as well stream it and see what happens. Oh, it's not upgraded. Okay, we're gonna use the, um, the wing scythe for this boss, too. Has Kaisenat beaten Elden Ring 200 times? Probably not. I've beaten this game more than that. I'm Inferno, thank you for the follow, man. Best Ash of War to put on a Scythe? Um, Spinning Strikes and Stormcaller. They're probably the best ones. Or oh, Flaming Strike too, I like. But if you wanna go all inside Blade build, then Spinning Strikes. Probably the best, until you go up against an enemy that can get staggered easily, then Stormcaller is going to be better. So if you're going for the bleed build, you know? Thousands, maybe 500? I don't know, I gotta like calculate how many times I've beaten the game. It would always just be like a rough estimate. But like, I can go through, look at every single weapon skill and spell that I've actually done a playthrough with. And I could go try and look at all the random runs that I've done. And all the speed runs that I've done, my no-hit runs that I completed too. And I could probably somewhat come up with an estimate. I don't know what it's gonna be. But it would probably be at least... At least 300, I wanna say. Maybe four to 500. Maybe it's about there, yeah. Maybe. At least twice. What's the best scythe? Probably the grave scythe. Probably the best one. The besterest one. I've done three. Can I- why is my shit not- I forgot that I sent the elevator back up. <laughs> and then I rolled, I'm like, wait a minute. I'm going down. Everything is fine. <laughs> Pro gamer, by the way. I should just like kill these enemies. I don't know why I'm just not killing them. Okay, get up. Heal. Get him out of here. Bruh. They die in one hit. What was I thinking? Coolest looking one too, yeah. I mean, it just gets like the most damage, you know? It doesn't one-shot them. Run away. 
Would it be better playing the DLC on a new playthrough or a new game plus? I recommend just making, getting a new character. Because after you beat the DLC, you probably want to do it again, so. You might as well just make a second character to do it. I recommend just doing like a regular first playthrough. Just in case like the new game plus scaling is like whack. Because it's going to be really hard. I'm going to make a video sometime... Sometime. I don't know when. <laughs> but I know I want to make a video of like... Making a new character ready for the DLC. So like for people that are like you that don't know what they want to do. I want to make a video of like just getting... A character ready in like two to three hours. Getting all like the materials that you need. Getting the bosses killed easily. Something like that. It went over my head! Nice. Special plans for Rykard? Um, what, like with this run? I could probably just use the Halo side for Rykard. Okay. Let's go buy some smithing stones. Started a Coded Sword playthrough recently. Hope the DLC has more holy damage weakness to exploit. Maybe it does. Make a new character eventually, but I'm just getting all the talismans and spells. Yeah, it does. It is like a pain in the ass. Um, why am I here again? I already have a seal. This is why I'm here. Okay, I need two of those and I need... Seven of those. Good math. I have a strength faith build. I just want a faith spell that's FP efficient and fast. Um, a catch flame is good for close range. <laughs> um, and then flame full upon them is a good spell for a fire too. Lightning spear is pretty good. They're very cheap projectiles. If you go spec into a little bit of intelligence, um, Discus of Light is very, very FP efficient. I want to upgrade. Please. Okay, plus 8 scythe, that's good enough. Ashes of War. I wanted to get Flaming Strike, didn't I? Let's go get that. What a weird repost animation. What's the best katana in Dark Souls 3? Um, probably like the Onikiri and Ibidachi or the um, Frayed, Frayed Blade. Either one. Can't go wrong with either one. I think those are the best though. Mm -mm. You can go check out my incantation ranking video. I ranked like every single incantation. Then you can just go skip to like the A and the S tier. If you want to see like what the best spells are like. And it turns like the if you're using the great stars, the good weapon skill will be like storm quality is. Mm. Oh you can check out my katana ranking video. That's right. <laughs> Find out the best katana in Dark Souls 3. I ranked the katanas across all the games. Catch Flame was number two, I believe. It was in the top three, yeah. Two or three, I forget what it was. I'm not sure if like Golden Vow got above it. Which talismans? Um, like the Sword Insignia talisman is going to be pretty good. The Lord of Blood Exaltation is pretty good because you're going to be proccing bleed. Although if you're going to go with like a Fire Infu or a Flame Art Infusion, maybe, then probably not. Obviously, Shard of Alexander too. And you could just use the spells or the talismans that boost your spell damage, the canvas talismans. They could work fine. I don't speak that language, my guy. Don't know what that is.
Catch Flame does kind of overshadow like everything. General thoughts on int builds? Um, they can be pretty good. Intelligence works. Flame growing strength. This is not red main castle, but I need to come here anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> no emoji. It's gonna man. Did both exaltation talismans buff stack? That's a good question. <laughs> I think they do. That's a good question. I think they do. Lord Exaltation is hard to get. It is kind of hard to get, yeah. I um, mean, yeah, intelligence builds can be really good. Like, the only thing that I'd lack is probably, like, good support-based options and, like, more variety. Like, because obviously when you compare them to incantations. But, like, they can still have, like, amazing damaging options. And you still get decent variety. You still get an option for fire damage. You get frost spells, so, yeah. Intelligence is really good. They stack? Okay, cool. Yeah. There you go, they stack. Look at this sunset. What a W skybox. Warriors, Jard, and Alexander's don't stack? No. When you can't even equip both of them. You can only equip one at a time. Scythe was Stormcaller is OP? Yeah, Stormcaller is nice. How is Caleb so pretty and hideous at the same time? Maybe it's like the grass. The grass is dead. But it gets like cool looking flowers and stuff. That's why. Altus has the best skybox? What, does the yellow sky? I'm not a fan of the yellow sky, not gonna lie. It's not my thing. It's not for me, you know? <laughs> Personal preference thing. I'd rather like knock run sky. Or knock Stella. Pretty cool stuff. And Fortisac skybox. I like the penguins in Caled, yeah. The Gawillamots, whatever the fuck they're called. Yellow Sky just looks polluted. It doesn't look right. Looks like it's some bad pollution. Can I, can I cross this bridge? Without dying. Easy game. I didn't die a single time. And ability was gonna man. Custard looking sky. I forget, sorry. Forgot you had a ballista. Yeah, it actually needs to be like a desert area. That's like one takeaway that I had from the Ark Thrones mod. That desert section was actually like really cool looking. I don't know why they don't make desert areas, you know? Next Souls game gonna be Egyptian-like? This is Flame Strike, right? I'm pretty sure it is. Come back. Nice. That running heavy attack is actually good. Interesting. Up we go. It's a good running attack. The Saints Lowest Battle Hawks are playing today. Hope the Saints Lowest Battle Hawks go well. <laughs> <laughs> the Gawillamut boss fight. <laughs> Penguin boss fight in the DLC. Surely. How does one progress this section again? Maybe this way. Dog, kill it!
It's dark and I cannot see. Is this the way? It's a lion. This is, in fact, not the way. Do I like dogs? Not in this game, no. Not in any game, actually. They always suck. Red main castle is underwhelming? Yeah, it is. I don't know why they didn't make it... good. This is just like a shortcut, right? Yeah. It's past the lions. <laughs> what am I looking for? Progression, basically. I'm looking to get the, um... The wet blade. Oh, it's over here, isn't it? True. Silly goof. The secondary dogs in the Fountainhead Palace are cool. I mean, secondary dogs aren't too bad because you have, like, you know, prosthetic tools that can, like, easily kill them. Um, and... Can I... Get up, please. I think those dogs have, like, lightning attacks, right? You can, like, lightning reversal the thing. What's the best scythe? Probably the grave scythe. Maybe this playthrough makes me decide... With another one, who knows? Maybe this scythe is the best one and we just don't know of it yet. Maybe. <laughs> Lightning reversal on a dog is crazy. It's a bit overkill, but... That's a pretty cool heavy attack, I'm not gonna lie. It kind of look, looks similar to, like, one of the German's attacks, kind of? I not really. I know this one wasn't on the Grave Scythe. He gives me a smithing stone. What a nice guy. Um, okay. That's fine. I kind of want to go... Hmm. Let's just go kill the boss that's here. Why not? Black Flame Tornado? Uh, Black Flame Tornado is really good, yeah. Not sure if it's the best one to use, but it's really good. Anyway, Ash of War. Flaming Strike. Flame Art. Hell yeah. Spiked Cracks too. Um, Axe Talisman? We don't need that shit, actually. Warrior's Jaw Shot. Nice, we can go level up. It's the duo boss? Yeah, the duo boss. Is it DS2 hater or lover? I'm kind of neutral. I mean, I like the game. I like Dark Souls too. But I still like it the least, so... Check the Power Stance moveset. The Power Stance moveset is kind of shit. We actually can Power Stance though, that's true. I got staggered? Nice. Now I wanted to get my charged heavy attack off. Do you guys just see the game lag? I thought I was about to dodge. Yes, we're gonna rank all the scythes, that is correct. Crazy lag spike? Okay, Google. Cool. You guys saw it too. <laughs> I'm glad you guys saw it. Otherwise, you'd be like, huh. You're complaining. It's fucking raining. Of course it's raining when I'm doing fire damage. What a piece of shit fucking game, dude. Stay still, please. Oh, oh you didn't stay still. Nice. 
Nice. Cool heavy attack. Heavy attack again. That's a nice hype armor there. Chip damage through a shield? Huge. What are those recovery frames? They just queued up my jump. I wanted to jump beforehand. Stay still. Do your second phase thingy. That does damage to me. Well, that's a cringe, isn't it? Ew! Stop that! Die! Why do like weapon skills just do so much more damage? Than like everything else. You're not supposed to attack me, you're supposed to like wait. Let me get this heavy attack off. Oh my god. He's not staying still, chat. Video game? We did it! Ruins Greatsword. Who's Joe? I don't know. Who's Joe? Do you think uh, from, uh, from Soft will make a game... Wait. At this point in time? What do you mean? I think they're working on a game currently, but I don't think it's going to come out anytime soon. Imagine if we get a Crucible Knight Spirit Summon. <laughs> Dark Souls has some solid design choices. It did some things pretty good. Okay, Vigor. And then, I don't know, Faith, I guess. Why not? Fucking rain. I can get another Talisman pouch. Actually, you know what I'm gonna get? We'll go get the Sword Insignia Talisman. That's gonna be the play. We probably go to the Altus Plateau first, though. I need to speak to um the Finger Lady. Doing a Bloodhound Fang Rung, is Blood Flame Blade the best buff for it? Yes, it is. Some would say it's the only buff for it. A fine Michael Zaki creation. No wing scythe? I already used the wing scythe. We have already used it. Mid. Okay, um... Let's go to the Altus Plateau. Let us go to the Altus Plateau. Get myself some more smithing stones. Get this bad boy to plus 12 or some shit, then we can go kill Radon. We're gonna use all the scythes. We're gonna use all four of them. We're just gonna go switch back and forth. We'll go use this one up until like... I don't know. <laughs> Maybe once I get to Lendel, I'll switch. Better be an Arcane Scythe in the DLC. There's bound to be something new, right? We'll probably switch to the Halo Scythe once I get to Lendel. You know, just in time for like, you know, more holy resist bosses, because why not? Then I probably say the Grave Scythe for like the later part of the playthrough. Wait, where did I get the Sacred Ring of Light's Ash of War from? Does anybody know? Can you get the Skelly Boy Scythe? Yeah, with Cheat Engine. Yeah. 
power of cheat engine. Oh, I should go grab the holy tier. I gotta get the fire tier. Ugh. We'll go grab those things. Might get the fire scorpion charm. Oh, I should get the ritual sword talisman. Hmm. Gonna power stance scythes for a boss or two? Oh, we can power stance. We actually might power sense the, the holy scythes together, because why not? Are they that rare? I think it's like a 2% drop rate or some shit. With the grave scythe and the halo scythe. Is fire affinity ever better than flame art? No. Wait, I mean, they're not really comparable. One's for strength, one's for faith. So, and almost every single time you're going with a strength build, a heavy infusion is going to be better. Favorites weapon class? Probably the hammers. I like bonking stuff. It's pretty fun. All of the moves has a kind of ass. I don't know. They're all cool, I guess. Get the fuck off the horse! <laughs> Jeez. Heavy infusion is better than fire? Yeah. Unless you're using it specifically for like critical attacks, then... No, but... For every other application... A heavy infusion is just better. Just... I haven't picked up Golden Bell yet. That's fine. Will the DLC be more difficult than the main game? Yes. By a lot. It's like weird, like the first swing does like doo doo damage, but the second swing does like good damage. I don't know if I like that or not. I wish they kind of did like this both like 50% of the damage, you know? A 4% drop rate, okay. But if you actually plan to use it, it secretly switches to a 0.1%, yeah. <laughs> It'll drop when you don't want it. Near Nial and Kaled? Is there like a scarab in that area? That has a sacred ring of light? Wait, so you can get sacred ring of light and the halo scythe in the same section? Did you wish Sekiro got a DLC? Of course I did. <laughs> of course I wish Sekiro had a DLC. Miyazaki drop rates work in mysterious ways, that is true. Scythe reminds me of the Dark Souls 1 Great Scythe. Yeah, I mean, it's just like the regular scythe that they use in other games. All the Great Scythes look the exact same. They just didn't call this one the Great Scythe because I don't know why. <laughs> I guess they have Grave Scythe and that would have been too confusing to have a Great and a Grave Scythe. I'm bad at Sekiro. Makes me angry, so I'm, I'm happy it doesn't have a DLC. <laughs> That's very vindictive. Happy it doesn't have a DLC. Because you're a fucking trash. You should try Blood Flame Blade with Grave Scythe. I'm not going to do that this run, no. I did it on my Spinning Strikes run. And I made a build around it as well. <laughs> In my last build video. We're just going to go stick with the Fire I'm fire I'm Fucking Faith build. Holy shit, I can't speak. Faith build. We're just gonna go do that. Oh, come on, dude. I died over 70 times to the Lady Butterfly? That's a major skill issue. Praise the sun, what's going on, man? What's good, what's good? The bull? Major skill issue. We might use Black Flame Tornado against like Elden Beast and or Rider Beast. Just fuck them up, why not? Why are you using Ritual Sword? Your H pool is never. My HP is always maximum. I never get hit a single time. Name one time where I've ever been hit. 
exactly. Checkmate, liberals. Every stream? Cap! Never get hit. Died to the fire giant like 50 times. The shield has carried me till then. Had to get good. <laughs> Have to learn a boss's moveset. The headless ape though is actually trash because I hate it. The headless ape is a good boss fight. What the fuck are you talking about? If you rush to Hirata Estate, I think I did Hirata Estate pretty early on. My first playthrough as well. The funny thing is, like, I my first playthrough, obviously I played Sekiro like day one, and I didn't know like how important the deflect mechanic actually was. So I actually fought um the first couple bosses. Oniwa and Lady Butterfly without like deflecting. I was like just dodging. I was playing it like a Dark Souls boss. Until I got to like Genichiro and I was like, hold on a second. <laughs> Wait a minute. Deflecting is actually useful. So yeah. Headless Ape is a bad fight. The whole hidden mechanic and animation with a spear to do extra posture damage. I didn't even know about that until recently as well. That whole spear thing. Um. Oh, what the? That's fine. There's absolutely no universe to where you can actually jump over that. That's actually disgusting. Gotta love the wing scythe for invasions. They're fantastic. Okay. Golden Vow acquired. No full HP again. There's a healing button for a reason. And first of all, I didn't even actually have the ritual sword talisman even equipped. Okay. Exactly, buddy. Wasn't the Cleric Beast designed to be more like a Dark Souls boss to ease the players into Bloodborne combat? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> That's a valid point, I guess. Any of those Freighter Scythes? Freighter Scythe's pretty cool. It felt natural to rush to Hirata since you got the bell at like minute 20. Yeah. Remember the Freighter Scythe Ash of War run? It was terrible. I actually don't remember it. Was it actually that bad? The damage is kind of ass against like bosses that can't be staggered. It's kind of doo doo. Like it doesn't consume any FP, so it's like. I guess it's fine. Ah, uh, Harkin, I has got a man. they like, the R2 attack with the Freighter Scythe is pretty decent, though. That's some nice damage, but it, like, doesn't pop out straight away, like the AoE effect. Using Freighter Scythe and I don't know how to feel about it? Yeah. It's not, it's not that crazy. I don't know where I'm going to put it on my list, honestly. I think, I don't know, you probably end up getting like maybe six or seven on this list. It probably be like right next to the Burial Blade, because I kind of feel the same way about the Burial Blade. It's like, it's really cool, but... <laughs> it's probably going to be like Great Scythe number one from Dark Souls 1, and then it'll probably end up being... Number two and number three will be like the Halo Scythe and the Grave Scythe in this game. 
then probably the Corvian Scythe in Dark Souls 3. Then probably like the Freighter Scythe and Burial Blade. And that's gonna make people really mad because obviously those are really popular weapons. Like how is the Freighter Scythe gonna get lower on a list? For the reasons I had mentioned. Life Steel Scythe? The Life Hunt Scythe? Well, like in Dark Souls 1? It's not as good as the Great Scythe in Dark Souls 1. Just not as good. Kill all the little guys! Die! Break this one for me, please. Dragon Slayer's Great Axe carried me my first playthrough in Dark Souls 3. Dragon Slayer's Great Axe is pretty good. You have to break it, you idiot. How did you miss? Oh my fucking gosh. Hold on a second. Pick it up. Thank you. Um, how the Spear Talisman works, I try to test it out, but I don't know what thrusting weapon counterattack damage. And I hear it talk about the Rusted Anchor. Um, counterattack is basically when you hit at the exact same time an enemy is attacking. And if you're doing piercing damage, you're going to be doing bonus damage to that. And Spear Talisman will further improve that damage. Basically. So while an enemy is attacking, you have to attack at the exact same time. It makes pretty good for trading. I'm stuck. McKitty counter talisman? Not really, right? <laughs> but Makita counters are fantastic. It makes secondary combat like so much more fun. It's like just as fun as a deflect mechanic, honestly. I forgot to put on Golden Bell. God damn it. Now I'm gonna lose. It staggers him in every hit. What an idiot. Oh, come on. I wanted to. That's fine. I can just. I uh, one spam. Come on. Nice. Huge damage. Huge. Very cool. Okay, let's go get this bad boy to plus 12, 13, whatever it is. I don't know. Purchase. What do I have my shit at right now? It's plus eight. I need four of these, right? That should be good math. Yeah. Good math. Okay, we'll go upgrade this and go kill Radon. How many bosses did I kill? Um... Good question. We've killed the Ranala, Godric, and Margit. Right? Yeah. Some other, like, random bosses here and there as well. Some random dungeon bosses. Yes. Champions! Let the festival begin! Oh, once I can get the fire tier. Fuck. Ready as I'll ever be. Before uh, Ghost, what's going on, man? EG over Hugh. I agree. Hugh sucks balls. It's the birthday scythe guy? I already did Dark Souls 2 and 3? Um, yes. Yes, we have done that. 
Um, a golden vow. Get rid of this shit. I need that. Flame, grab me strength. Should I put on... Uh, should I get the fire tier? Not bothered. We actually might switch to the Halo Scythe after this. Because the Draconic Tree Sentinels resist the fire damage. So go use a Halo Scythe. That's gonna be the strategy. Neo 2 Scythes are fun. Early Red Main was it for the yeah, it was for the wet blade, yeah. For the wet blade to make it flame art infused. Because they're going all into faith. Um, I just realized. Um, what's in my tier? Faith tier, cool. Imagine being Hugh, only purpose in life is to be a blacksmith and the community hates you and prefers EG. I don't think the community hates Hugh, because I made my video ranking the blacksmiths and I shit on Hugh. And... <laughs> a lot of people in that comment section were defending Hugh. Like, how dare you talk about bad about, about Hugh? He's really cool. They did not take very kindly. Even if it was just a joke. It is what it is. Okay, let's go kill this guy with some heavy- Oh, come on, dude. Oh, come on. Dude. That's fine. Looks like you're getting it like that now. Charge, heavy attack, go! No, you're doing it wrong. I was supposed to be closer before you did that. A poise break would be nice, I'm not gonna lie. Please. Please. Oh, no. My life is over. I'm one of those people, justice for Hugh. Eh. He'll be alright. Nice bleed proc. Rip those. Oh, I forgot to get the gold scarab talisman. Idiot. We said heavy attack was on all the sites? It would be cool. The only good blacksmith is Andre because he can also beat the ever living fuck out of you with his bare hands. <laughs> Andre is the best blacksmith. What happened to Alexander? Where did he go? Hugh sucks, he should have died? Damn. <laughs> Damn. He hates Hugh for real, for real. Um, let's go do this. No single mom Renala kill? I've already killed Renala. Renala is dead. She's deaded. Okay. Let's go. Where am I going? I was gonna do something and I forgot what it was. I was gonna kill the Draconic Tree Sentinel now. Is there anything else that I need to do? Gold Scarab, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I didn't hit up any... Ugh. I didn't hit up any graces along the way. They hate Hugh because he has a blonde cutie that never abandons him. A blonde cutie that never abandons him. And fire too, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kami, what's up, man? Hope you're doing well. He didn't want her. How goes the run? The run goes. The run be going places. Hating Hugh because he gets more action as an all-time low. <laughs> um, the run's been okay. We've been using the wing scythe for the first part of the run, then I switched to like this scythe, and now we're gonna kill this boss, and then switch again to the... Halo scythe. That is in fact going to be the strategy. Then I gotta get started on working on like this scythe video. After this run, I gotta get gameplay for all the stupid Dark Souls 2 scythes as well. 
Because I didn't use all the Dark Souls 2 scythes. And Dark Souls 2 scythes are bad. They're bad. Fishman has returned. I have a mod, finally. That can ban some people. NC State lost. Skill issue. They're like father and daughter. Yeah, you guys are always just ruining the, the one decent platonic relationship in this game. And you stupid FromSoft fans have to sexualize everything. Ban me, daddy? What the fuck is wrong with you guys? <laughs> is Halo Scythe my favorite? I... maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Asking what's wrong with chat is a dangerous game. This chat is okay. Let's go buff this shit and fuck him up with a heavy attack. Hell yeah. Okay, stay still. Don't block. Nice. Oh, look at that damage. Oh, look at that damage. Oh, look at that guaranteed combo right there. You, we, you know, I'm a product of That'll teach him to be weak to fire damage. Okay, now let's go get the tears and stuff. The product of the unhinged era? Is that true? Is that confirmed? Drink the juice. Rot and Madness Dragons for the DLC? We already have a Rot Dragon, what do you mean? This mean like death? Oh, you stupid fucking piece of shit. Why doesn't fire already do the black flame effect? I don't know. I don't know. We do have a death by dragon, that is true. Fortisax, yeah, true. A blade dragon. That sounds cool. Forty stacks. Yeah. Enemy felled. Why did that have to be so extra? Why can't you just say like enemy defeated? Enemy felled. Doesn't even make any sense. Using old English. Rip Bozo. Guardian Spear, best spear? It's up there. I wouldn't put it over like Knight Rider's Glaive and stuff, and probably not even the Bolton Grand Sacks or even the Death Ritual Spear. But it's up there. <laughs> The tree spear where it, like what? It's a great spear as well. Like, sorry, like the regular tree spear or a Silurius tree? Better not be talking about the tree spear, the regular one. Shit just got sacred blade, shit's mid. That's got a cool heavy attack though. My well, sacred order, not sacred blade. Sacred order. It would have been better with sacred blade. Great Spears are my favorite weapon class? That's fair. What's everyone's favorite weapon class? We're here to kill another tree. And then we can go switch to the Halo Scythe. Curve Swords, Ultra Great Swords, Reapers, Katanas and Great Swords. Hardest boss incoming. The only way to kill the boss is on the exact date of May 14th, year 3560. Any other day, Rapiers, the boss has infinite colossals. health and instantly one hits you. But on Straight that day, it's the most noble.
very interesting uncharged heavy attack. Nice. Perfect roll catch. Good dodge, idiot. Okay, how much damage does that do compared to like a charged heavy? I did more. Clearly. Um, okay. That's fine. Those tiers are now acquired. That's fantastic. Now we can go... Get some other stuff. Wait, what am I going to use for my talisman pouch? Because I'm not going to be really using charged heavy attacks. I don't know. What's like another good talisman to use? Curve great swords and great spears are superior to all others. Shotguns? <laughs> Favorite weapon class. Good old fucking shotgun. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Kind of sad that the only elements, ele oh, elemental damage puts under the size you can't remove. Already is holy because magic scythe would have been cool. I mean, you could just put like Loretta Slash on like a regular scythe. And it could be a cool magical scythe, right? Unless I'm misunderstanding what you're saying. Sacred Scorpion Charm. True. Can I jump, please? And let's use the Halo Scythe later. And... We'll go grab... Hmm. I didn't want to talk to you. Go away. Go away. Am I going to grab... Sacred Ring of Light. <clears throat> okay. You weaken you use Phantom Slash on a scythe. That would be a fun one. Um, no, we're not gonna use Phantom Slash. Let's go grab. Here. Let's go grab the Sacred Ring of Light and we'll go grab the Sacred Scorpion Charm too. Personal favorite scythe from Elden Ring? Uh, probably the Grave Scythe, because it looks really cool. Not using Phantom? I know. I know. Am I even the real Yui for not using Phantom Slash? But now like, I want to use other stuff. Okay, so now the Sacred Ring of Light should be somewhere around about this swamp. Is what I've been told. Closer towards the boss. And now I've been invaded by Millicent. Bring out my invasion tool. Or a scarab. Hey, girl. I've been noticed. What's with that aggro range? What the fuck is that? Oh my goodness me. No, you don't. I guess she does. I guess she... Oh my god. Why does that get a hyper armor? That makes no sense. That's some bullshit. Your trash, good. And it's like pre-patch, it's um post-patch as well. With the waterfowl dance. Because waterfowl dance is stupid. Okay, so near the boss, there's a scar. Is it up a scarab? It should be for scarab, right? Okay, let's go find a scarab. Next to the boss arena. Let's go circle around the boss arena until we find a scarab.
That's a big scar, but that's probably not the one I'm looking for. It's a big ass. Oh, is that over here? This might be it. That is, in fact, the one. Easy game. While we're here, might as well kill this guy. Might as well kill this guy since we're here. Heavy attack, please. Nice, huge. Got the blade proc, massive. I'm getting kicked by a fucking dragonfly. We got this. We can win this. This is winnable. even hit me, I swear I dodged. They made sure to kill me. <laughs> That's fine. I don't like that R2. As if you don't like a double swiping R2. Shit's cool. They propped bleed pretty quickly. Okay. Those dragonflies are fucking annoying. Thank god there's not more of those things in the game. Big dragonflies are the worst. <laughs> He's mad that I stole the Ash of War. Skill issue. He'll get over it. Okay, let's go grab the Sacred Scorpion Charm before I forget. We're just getting a bunch of stuff. The smithing table ne next to Kale is better than Hugh. <laughs> if the smithing table could like let us upgrade more than plus three, I would never go to Hugh. Ever. And I still would, because the merchant is useful, I guess. I just don't know why the merchant is not next to the bond, uh, next to the blacksmith. Have you seen Gino's All Enemies Are Dragonflies run? I have not. That sounds stupid. I'd never want to do something like that. <laughs> oh, come on. Why do you spam jumping attacks? In every single time that they spam a jumping attack, it always works. What the fuck? <laughs> All enemies are lobsters, we're not doing that either. Although I haven't done one of those runs in a while. I haven't done one in a while. What was like the last one that I did? I did All Enemies was Millennia, right? Yeah. All Enemies was Millennia and I was cosplaying as Millennia. That's right. I remember now. Sacred Ring of Light, Sacred Infusion, um, Physic, Holy, Spiked, yeah, why not? Sacred Ring of Light is just like outclassed by Sacred Blade anyway. It's just ass. And obviously the Halo Scythe. So we're gonna go do that, and then we're gonna go switch to... I'm probably not gonna use Heavy Attack. I'll probably use Heavy Attacks, it's fine. I don't need... I don't fucking know. Is it better than the Halo Scythe Ash of War? No. Halo Scythe Ash of War is better. It does more damage, it goes further, it staggers enemies. It's just better. Hear angry Australians yelling in the background? So yeah, people are always fucking loud in this house. You did Radagon and Millennia. I think I did something else as well. Change the drip. I have fucking no other drip. What, what drip do I use? All enemies are royal revenants. <laughs> Should I do that one? All enemies rune bears. Should I do rune bears or revenants? How about both? All enemies are rune bears or revenants. <laughs> but I can't use healing spells. That's the normal volume. Yeah, true. I did do Ancient Dragons as well, yeah, true. That's a, that's a real Yui fan right there. Knowing what I did. I did do Ancient Dragons. 
That I did. I didn't want to... I wanted to use Flame Gray Strength. Not that I wasn't going to benefit much of it, but... Okay. That's not bad. You know, I kind of want to die in compared to the Halo Scythe. What happened this out? I have a plus 14. What's like comparable to a plus 14? Plus 5, right? We're just gonna die here. We're gonna use the Halo Scythe. I'm gonna compare the damage. I mean, I know it's gonna do more damage. I just wanna know if the stamina costs as well. And see if it actually like staggers him. It's probably not gonna stagger him because tree sentinel, but um Your video schedule is absolutely bad. What do you mean by that? My video schedule is bad. Whatever do you mean? Halo Scythe. Bid YouTuber. You hardly make videos and I have to wait too long. Two days? Nah, I can't. <laughs> Somebody ban him. This guy's further, so I can use that at a longer distance. I think it seems a bit more stamina. It did do more damage. Wait, it's only 11 FP? I thought it was 13. Wait, so is the other one 9 FP? I wasn't paying attention. It is 9 FP, yeah. Because I knew it was 2 more FP, but I thought it was 11 13, not 9 11. Never mind. Um. Good dodge. Some pretty nice range. You guys heard nothing. I forgot to switch. Nice lag. Stormblade, Goat, Ash of War. It's definitely top 10. The tracking, it doesn't track what it actually does do. What well, actually makes the skills really good? I forgot to talk about that in my other thing. That's fine. Um, what makes this skill really good is that it stays there for a little bit, so if enemies actually input read, they will actually dodge, like, the first part, and then the end, they actually go track towards them. But it doesn't, like, curve midair, if that's what you're saying. It doesn't, like, curve midair. How was a video per two to three days bad? I think he's just joking. I'm doing a God's Wrath only run in Demon Souls. My advice is to not do that. <laughs> That's my advice. Um, but if you want actual advice, first thing that you do... Well, you have to go kill the Dragon God to go grab it. Unless you're doing, are you doing a New Game Plus run? That sounds even worse. Because um, you have to kill the Dragon God. And then free at least F Sage Freak on New Game Plus, okay. Just stack up on as many spice as you can. 99 of both spice. <laughs> and just constantly keep buying spice. Obviously this cat ring. Or oh, the rat ring I mean. Um, with the ring that boosts your magic or your uh, miracles. I forget what it's called. What is this build? Oh, we just have a faith build right now. We're using the halo scythe. Kind of like the Thunderbolt skill. They auto dodge, but it's too fast for them. Kinda. Kinda. Um, what am I going into? I don't know. More faith. 
Fuck everything else. He only gets like a D scaling in Faith though, which is kind of ass. Even at plus 10. It's like the D or a C scaling, which is weird because like this, the Wing Scythe gets a better Faith scaling, but like this one's skill is the one that scales off Faith. I wish like the scalings were switched. Kind of annoying. Scythes are sexy looking, never tried them though. Um, we might get back to the regular scythe because these two bosses are resist- I mean, every single boss from here on out is resist the holy damage. All the bosses that we've been fighting are resist the holy. Doesn't matter. <laughs> if the halo scythe could proc rot. Start hailing outside? Damn. Um, what should I- I wanted to get sword dance, didn't I? Let's go back to Flaming Strike, who cares? Flaming Strike works fine. I didn't get the Fire tier. No, who cares? Ritual Sword is gonna be good enough. One thing that would have been cool with like the clean rot weapons is that if you could like power stance them with other clean rot weapons. Wait, is the clean rot enemies that wield the scythe? They don't power stance anything else, do they? Did you want Moog's Talisman? No. Because we're just going to go Fire or Faith build. We're not going to be proccing Bleed that much. Die, Imp. Clean Rot Knights build a Scythe and a Rapier. It would have been cool if they actually could power stance them then. Like power stance like the clean rot weapons just together and have like unique power stancing combos. I guess that would have been too unique. We can't be having that. Actually speaking of power sensing, I might as well power sense against these bosses. True. Might as well power sense. Probably power sense the two holy based ones, because why not? Make those power stance. I don't know, who cares? Yeah, fuck it, let's just do that. Weapon does piercing damage? No, it does slashing damage. The scythes are slashing at type weapons. It's power stancing. Oh, I'm fat rolling. Not anymore. Uh, Mahmoud, what's going on, man? How are things? How are you well? I was reading my chat. That was very unnecessary. That was actually cheating. Grave Scythe and Black Flame will handle the end game easily? Yeah. Unless I just go stick with Holy Damage at the end of the game, because why not? Frost the Grave Scythe with Jumping Attack? I don't care for the Power Sensing moveset of Halberds. And Scythes, it's kind of mid. Jumping Attack is nice though. But the Jumping Attack is good for like every Power Sensing build. Um, excuse me. I can't dodge a single one of his attacks. It's like actually impossible. I can't dodge a single Great Bow. I'm getting my revenge, I don't care. Revenge arc. And again. I'm winning this fight. Get him. I won. My weapon deflected off the shield. Why does a scythe deflect off a shield? That's silly. If you're doing chip damage around a shield, it should be like not getting deflected as well. I ever feel like they kind of did faith builds dirty with endgame bosses like Malekith and Radagon? Or you mean like holy damage in general? Um... 
I think holy damage has gotten done dirty, not faith builds, because faith builds get access to like many different damage types, so... No, because like, Radagon is weaker to fire damage. You know? Go up the ledge. That's not going up the ledge. Try to push me up the ledge. See, buddy. Um, but holy damage is not even bad at the end game. It's actually bad throughout the entire game. <laughs> the whole game, holy damage is bad. It's just the worst at the end game because Malekith and Radagon are 80% resist. But holy damage is bad. Well, not bad, but like it's the worst damage type to have. Because like all the other bosses that are resist to holy damage are like 40 or 60% resist. You know, like, but Margaret is most resist to holy damage. Godric is most resist to holy damage, as is Radan, as is Godfrey, as is Morgoth, Fire Giant, Godskin Duo. All of which are just resist to holy damage. More so than like the other damage types. I mean, Fire Giant's most resist to um, fire damage, but he is second resist to holy. I think it's like 50% to fire and then like 40% holy. And like 20% for the rest for whatever fucking reason. <laughs> I don't know. Stupid ass shit. And Godskin Doer I think are equally resist to fire damage and holy damage. It is what it is though. What was that damage? What was what damage? What do you mean? I use dark damage throughout most of my playthrough in Dark Souls 3, and how did that work out for you? Because dark damage in Dark Souls 3 is kind of ass. It's not as bad as holy damage in this game, but... <laughs> Still be kind of ass. Yeah, what a dog shit running attack. Yeah, recovery frames. I mean, the rolling attack's not too bad. Barring the DLC, dark damage kind of slaps. Now, I think bosses like. I forget. Isn't like Vought and like Lothric is resist to dark damage, right? Lothric and Lorien, not Vought arm. Um. Pretty sure Dragon Slayer armor is resist to dark damage too. And maybe Champion Gunder, I forget. There are some bosses. I think like Dancer is like the only one that's actually like weak to dark damage. And I think Yom is weak to dark damage too. Not that you really want to be doing that anyway, but... I forget. Nice crouching animation. What's a doot? What do you mean, what's a doot? Like the bubble stuff? The bubble horns? Dancer or Vort are pretty weak to it. I think like, those are like the only bosses that are weaker to it. I think even Pontiff is like resist to it too. Maybe? I don't know. Die! 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 Oh, have no more FPP! As soon as I turn my back, cheating ass shit. We won. Um, more of that and then more of this, I guess. Good enough. Power setting sucks confirmed. Take that off. Um, put that on and then put that on, I guess. Good enough.
Let's just go kill him with this. Your best weapons video helped me a lot. You're welcome, Ashen One. Glad that I could help. Moog has, yeah, Moog is more fire resist than the fire giant, yeah. And Rykard as well, more resist than the fire giant. What is thy business with these thrones? You casted Golden Vow twice? Oh, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Because I tried to like change it and queue up the input and it doesn't work sometimes. The twin prodigies. Maybe I just suck at switching spells. General Radan. Praetor Rikard. Medea laughs at dark damage? Yes. Luna Princess Rani. Feet? I missed the feet. God damn it. Willful traitors. All. See, when you cast gold about twice, it actually stacks. <laughs> Siri, fuck off. I wasn't talking to you. Kind are all of a piece. It doesn't, by the way. I was joking. Oh god. Pillagers emboldened by the But there is the only time I couldn't kill a boss in my first playthrough. That's what we call a skill issue. King Morgoth. I'm gonna kill him. Okay, hold on a second, buddy. Let me spam. What about thrice? Maybe it does. Let's see, if I hit with the point blank range, it gets a hitbox. Huge! L2, 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 L2. Wonder how much stance damage this does. Pretty not much. Aw, oh, come on, dude. That's the stupidest mechanic in every Souls game ever. Let's go do a good old switch. Switch to the wing scythe. At least I get a high parama. Hold on a second, bud. Let me drink my juice. I have no more FP flask? What happened? I didn't rest at the grace? I don't know why we didn't get more good spells in the base game. That's just silly. I have no FP, that's right. Why am I spamming my skill without FP? I'm nothing without this. Charged heavy attack, go! It missed! Stop hitting me! We did it. Have nothing positive to say about the Wing Scythe. I mean, it's good at stun locking smaller enemies, and it's nice at like, fighting NPCs that like to heal. You know, it's pretty decent. It's one nice thing that you can say about it. Choose between Eleonora's Poblade or a keen Nagakiba. Which would I choose? Nagakiba is a way better weapon. Way better. I don't know. Eleonora's can be pretty fun though. Didn't even break the chair? No. I like that chair, it's a nice chair. It's gonna be my new gaming chair. Deals 4 stance damage. Hmm. 34, 30... What do I... I don't know. What do I even spec into? I don't even fucking... <laughs> 
That's a bit of dexterity, I guess. Some of this shit's scaling up dexterity. Good enough. Now, what other talismans does one acquire? Might get the sword insignia talisman. Just to have something different. What scythe has the highest AR? Uh, probably the grave scythe. That one should have the highest. This is the wrong grace. Most excited about in the DLC? Just this, the whole DLC itself. I don't know, there's nothing in particular. Maybe just like getting new stuff. Getting new weapons, but like fighting the bosses and exploring is... Guessing pretty excited too. When I'll use the Grave Scythe? Um, we could get it now. We could use the Grave Scythe for the Fire Giant. Might could get, what do you call it as well? Sword Dance. Put Sword Dance on the Grave Scythe. Because why not, you know? DLC to have bosses that are giga weak to holy damage. Uh, there's not going to be any bosses that are giga weak to holy damage. <laughs> They're probably going to be like just as resist or maybe like a little bit weak, but not like giga weak, no. Every DLC has very resist bosses. I don't think this DLC is going to change that. Stormcrawler is cool too. Yeah, it's cool. We do have Stormcrawler, so I don't have to get Sword Dance. Don't you have to farm for the Grave Scythe? Not if you're me. Not if you're me. And you have Cheat Engine. I love cheating, it's the best. The Regal Ancestor Trio. <laughs> This thing should die straight away. Bye! Actually, has some nice hype armor in that animation. Pretty cool. Not too bad. Not too bad. I'm not about to go get Sword Dance. But I kind of want to get it, though. Let's just go grab it. I can get the Dexterity tier on the way as well. Why not? I cheat vicariously though. I don't have cheat engine. Skill issue. You know, girls are really good fight when you don't want the fight to end. That is true. Needed a fourth phase. The kick Ash of War. I want those kicks. It's gotta be some cool shit. Bosses weak to holy would fuck up the balance. A lot of holy weapons are good. I don't think so, bro. I don't think so. Like, arguably, like, fire weapons are better. And magic weapons are better than holy weapons as well. <clears throat> like, there's no holy weapon better than the Blasphemous Blade, Mogwin, Sacred Spear, or, um... Dark Moon Greatsword. No holy weapon better than those. Like, Envoys is nice. Halo Scythe is nice. Obviously, Maracus Hammer, Sacred Relic Sword. They're all, like, really good options, but, like, they're not, like, groundbreaking to where, like, if you had the Holy Resist or Holy Weak bosses, it'd be, like, super OP. Bubbles are going to destroy the DLC. Where the fuck am I going? How much more west do I go? Guess we just follow the big tree. <laughs> I 
I play with a coated sword for Star, Star Wars cosplay. Who cares about the rest? The bosses do, clearly. Will you do a kick only run? I'm never gonna do a kick only run. Never. Ever. What are you looking for? We're looking for sword dance, which I think is like here, right? Like, I don't think any boss is gonna be like that weak to the holy damage in the DLC. Maybe there'd be like one that's like really weak. Or like a couple that's kind of weak, but I think most of them are just gonna be equally as resist to everything else. Oh, the martial art thingy? Oh, yeah. Of course I'll do that. <laughs> not gonna not do that. Cool, cool. We have what we needed. That's cool. Fantastic. On to the next. You know what? I hate this game. I have Cheat Engine right in front of me. We're not gonna skip this whole section. I'm clicking this button. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> this part of the game is so bad. Mm -mm. Massive lack of faith dex weapons? Yeah. There is not many. Not that there really needs to be. Hate fighting the fat ass tree here? This is like a regular earth tree. And it's dead. Having zero faith arcane weapons is criminal. So lucky you can do that. Mm -hmm. It's a blessing. I've ran through this area so many times without a horse, so I deserve this. Millennia's katana could have been dex faith. I mean, she doesn't get like a different damage type, right? It's just still physical damage. The skeleton with the boomerang being a little weak to holy? Maybe. Um, what would make you stop streaming and return to my old job? Well, first of all, I'm not returning to my old job because I got fired from that job. And secondly... A fat fucking bag. A really big bag. Massive bag. Huge bag. What was my old job? I was like a retail manager. I managed a retail store. It was pretty cool. It was okay. I told people what to do and it was nice. Why is it dismounting my horse? I have cheat engine on. I should be overriding this. Some things cheat engine can't fix. <laughs> Looking at feet too much? That's exactly why. I've been poisoned. Fired, quit, same- yeah. Did I deal with Karens? Of course I dealt with Karens. <laughs> of course I did. I wasn't very nice of them though. One thing I don't miss about that is just dealing with people. That was kind of cringe. Mega cringe.
Wouldn't it make more sense for a bleed to do damage like poison? Like you're literally bleeding? I mean, it's how it worked in um, Demon Souls. Demon Souls bleed was damage over time. And then they changed it because, you know, having lots of damage over time is kind of boring. You want some different types of status effects. It was terrible in Demon Souls, yeah, because it wasn't percentile damage. Aren't you tired? From what? A bestial incantation run? I've done every single spell run. Every single spell run. That was like ages ago as well. Like when I made my video ranking every single spell type, I made that video because I was doing those playthroughs. You can check out most of those runs on my VOD channel. Or like my spell type runs. From streaming for so long? I've been streaming for like 2 hours, or 2 hours and 40 minutes. So not really, no. <laughs> and like, depends what you're playing as well, you know? Like, if I'm doing something like really shit, then you get bored and tired, but... You guys are here to keep me company, so it's fine. Dealing with people probably gave you the patience to deal with the FromSoft BS. <laughs> I don't think it helped, I'm not gonna lie. Where's my water bottle? Not with me at the moment. If you hit a vein you do, that is true, yeah. Worst bleed in all games is Dark Souls 3 damage over time and all at once. What do you mean? What does that even mean? Maybe I don't know how to read, but I don't understand. Thoughts on Stellar Blade? It looks pretty good. I might play it. I'm gonna play that demo and it was pretty enjoyable. I liked it. Seemed okay. I would have rather it be more like RPG style type of thing, so you can get like, you know, get more weapons and upgrade th stuff and have like your own stats that you can upgrade. Because I'm not that, I'm not too big on skill tree based things, you know? Not a skill tree fan. I like stats instead. No hydration source? No. Dark Souls 3 works like Elden Ring. The bleed? Yeah, the bleed in Dark Souls 3 is, is a flat damage. Flat damage. I forget how much percent it actually is. It's like 10% or some shit, but yeah, it's flat damage. Um, how bad would it be if there's a stamina effect that reduces or drains stamina? I mean, frost, frostbite reduces stamina regeneration speed. So, like, frostbite kind of already does that, right? So, it doesn't reduce your stamina, but reduces the speed of it, which is kind of like the same thing. It builds up continuously? That's just like the leeches, right? That's like the leeches. They're like the enemies that do blade build up continuously. And you have to remove them with fire. Is Millennia worth the Scarlet Rot? What do you mean? Like, is it... Are you trying to proc Scarlet Rot on Millennia? I wouldn't bother. <laughs> but you can try. She has like 1400 Rot Resist. You're just wrong. <laughs> I know, but I'll defend my point. <laughs> you know what, Ellie? That's like the most based thing. Absolutely based. I'm wrong, but I'm still going to defend it. <laughs> G 
Get up, buddy. Fia's clothes would look great with the Grave Scythe. That is true. You know what? Let's go drop some armor. Where is my armor, 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 armor? Okay, let's go do some sick cheat engine skills. Oh no, I can't pick up the thing! I did pick it up, nice, we're good. Okay. Um. Where the fuck? I don't know. Didn't think there was like get all armor button. There's not like a button for it, but you can just like control A or like Long control no shift, you control you shift, you know? How are you? Ah, uh, Tarnish is gone, man. I did give myself every single armor set in the game. I mean, the Scussy, the Scarlet Rot Ussy. Oh, the Rot Ussy? What about it? Um, where is Fia's. 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 It should be up here, right? There she is. Does she have like her own thingy as well? Ha, he missed. Deathbed smalls. There we go. Hell yeah. I need a hood. That's a different color. That does not match. Where's my regular hood? That's a regular black hood. Can you pick up the stupid thing? Thank you. Oh yeah, now we're looking good. <laughs> oh yeah, Dark Souls 2 bleeds to cut your stamina in half too. Yeah, true. I forget about that. I haven't PvP'd in Dark Souls 2 in like the longest time. Um, why might there be a sub on Yui's Discord called Rani's Feet? That's for like shit posting, okay? <laughs> the, the lore behind that is because when I first made my Discord server, there was like this one guy saying, Where is the Rani Feet channel? And he kept asking the question. That's not her hood? Where's her hood? Does she have her own hood? Where is it? Oh, it's here. Idiot. Now we're edgy, yeah. Now we're edgy. So I got the Grave Scythe? What could I normally get my weapon to at this point? I forget. For like plus 20. Might drop a plus 20 Grave Scythe. Go kill the Fire Giant. The Zamora Curve Sword is good for fast frostbite with its Ash of War. The Zamora Curve Sword is actually amazing. Or the weapon skill at least. The weapon itself is kind of shit. With its doo, -doo Ash range and its terrible moveset. But the weapon skill is actually an S tier. Actual S tier skill. It's like 14 FP. It does like really good damage. It's good stance damage. And it procs frost faster than like anything else in the entire game. And it's like very low requirements. Actual S tier weapon skill. Weapon itself is trash. How do you feel about North Lane? Who the fuck is that? Is that a- is that a Ligma joke? Sounds like a Ligma joke. Who's North Lane? I could get to plus 21, yeah, but I'm just gonna draw a plus 20. It's fine. Good enough. Isn't a good frost weapon in this game? 
You mean like the Darkwing Greatsword and the Death's Poker? <laughs> what do you mean there's not a good Frost Open? <laughs> What are we referring to here, my game? Okay, Grave Scythe. Grave Scythe has been acquired. The coolest looking scythe that requires 17 strength. That we can go get that right now. Oh, I need 5,000 runes. I'm broke. <laughs> the PKCS is the best. Is the best Elden Ring weapon. Yep, true. <laughs> okay, 17 strength. Cool. Ashes of War. Let's go put on Sword Dance with a good old Flame Arts infusion, because why not? Gonna do a Fight Club marathon one of these days? Why are you so underleveled? Level 66. That's like good enough for like endgame. Zamora is not worth it. I recommend using the Zamora Curve Sword, but just spam the weapon skill. I did a weapon skill run with the Zamora Curve Sword, and it's really good. I still have the Holy Tier on. Switch to the Fire Tier. Wait, not Fire. I don't need Fire. I'm going against the Fiery Giant. Although Holy Damage is not that much better, but it's going to be better than Fire Damage. No, not Sacred Ring of Light. No. Oh, I forgot to go grab the Wet Blade. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. You know what? We'll get it later. We're actually not gonna get it. It's fine. We'll go switch to, um... Fuck. That's fine. What should I use? I mean, he's weak to slashing damage. This one gets more physical damage. We'll go with this. Halo Scythe it is. But then again, it's advanced project. Ah, fuck it, who cares? What kind of new sacred tears would you like in the DLC? New sacred tears? What do you mean? Like crystal tears? Um, I don't know. Oh, so up plus five. Oh, god damn it. Hold up. Switch back to this. You, we have you heard of the new Souls YouTube Lee Gandhi? Lee Gandhi's nuts lol, sorry, had to do with PLS, don't ban me. It didn't even pause for that long, I couldn't even fall for the joke. Everything is fine. Huge damage. Was that a bleed proc? I think it was a bleed proc. I forgot the death poker had frost. It do be having frost. 14 esters is not enough for the DLC. Um, I think it's fine. Cause if it's not gonna work anything like the base game, there's gonna th they're gonna throw like a thousand graces at you. You know what I'm saying? Why is he yelling? He did it to himself. It's his own fault. Come back. Every boss will do crazy damage. I mean, every boss does crazy damage in the base game, you know? <laughs> it is what it is. There'll be people no hitting the DLC in like two weeks. Just put Icy Hot on it? Yeah. Oh, I have no FP. Hell yeah. 
Hell yeah. I wanted to roll past his head. Oh, he's not even doing a thing. <laughs> Activated his shotting gun, yeah. It doesn't even go that far. Say could bring up like his doo doo balls. Reapers had my favorite backstab animation. The backstab animation was better in Dark Souls 1. Just a stab. I have no more FP! No, in the head. I wanted to get him in the head, not the hand. Oh, that's not good. Nah! <laughs> Why does the horse get staggered for that long? Oh, it's just my own fault. I went for like an extra attack. <laughs> I went for an extra attack when I should have just gotten my horse straight away. Oh no, he's hot! If I hit him in the eye there, if it locked onto the eye the first time, I would have fucking won. But it didn't lock onto the eye. And I hit the hand instead. Trying to like toggle between, like hit him in the eye. And the horse is so bad, like it gets staggered for so long. What a stupid horse. That's fine. Wonder how his ankle was originally injured? Maybe it got cold, I guess. Nineteen hundred damage. Oh, why does that happen? Stalling for contents? How did you know? I need more FP flasks. I don't know why I only have two. Can you come back here, please? What do you think about top G? What the fuck is that? Oh, Andrew Tate? I don't fucking care about him. I don't know. I haven't heard that name in a long time. Oh, for fuck! that thing came out like 10 times later. Um... This heavy attack is doo doo. I like my other heavy attack battle. Second phase me. Thank you. Voice break, please. Thank you. Thank you. Can I get a fat bleed proc? That'd be fantastic, I'm not gonna lie. The boss tails gimmick was the best? The... No. I mean, cutting off a boss's tail is fine. Having it tied behind weapons is like, so shit. Is there a lore reason why Torrent sucks? It's cause Melina gave it to us and Melina sucks, that's why. Meanwhile, the whole blade meter is fucking reset. That makes literally no sense. What a shit fucking boss, dude. I tell- I'm telling you, like... <laughs> what a fucking shit boss. The terrain makes this boss, like, three times worse. Like, the boss already sucks, but the terrain is just making it ten times worse. Wasn't Rani originally Torrent's owner? I don't know, some people say it's Mikula as well, so who knows. And the funny thing is, like, he when he doesn't roll far enough the first time, he has to roll a second time. Like, every single time. That's why he rolls back to back, because he doesn't roll far enough the first time, he gets clipped on something. So that's why he rolled a second time there. 
on You're some fucking mad. bullshit. Fire giant is amazing boss. Somebody ban him. They're straight up banned. No timeout, ban. Straight to ban. The funny thing is, I actually haven't fucking died. My only two hits off this boss have both come off the fact that I've been like one shot. Level up your vigor, kids. I had him one shot like both times. And I died. Didn't get hit throughout the entire fight. That's fine. No, lock onto his head. I don't, it makes no sense. It doesn't make any sense. Apologize, but let's be honest, you have like 10 health you weak. Thank you for the 10 bits again. Not gonna ban you fish man, it's okay. If I'm getting one shot, why the fuck I hate curse? It's this armor set, it's making me tank no damage. Stop moving! I need a stagger. Ha, he fell! Idiot! Kill him! This is some ass damage. Nice, huge. Oh, what the fuck is that RNG? He cheated me. Massive. Could have made like the eye like a little bigger, you know? I didn't explode the other one. Now it's exploded. <laughs> He's a Dark Souls 3 player. Good damage. Fuck him up. Finally! Hit him in the eye! First try. EZ game. Never had any issue with the duo. The duo is only hard when you do it at melee distance. Uh, John Williams, thank you for the follow. It's gonna, man. Like, when you're using projectiles against the duo, it's, like, super fucking easy. If you're doing it at melee range, when you don't have a good stance damage or some shit, or, like, some cheesy-ass build. Or bleed, I guess. It's fucking bullshit. Actual bullshit boss fight. Can someone please give me runes? I don't think anyone can give me- give you runes. Um, Abdul, thank you for the 729, whatever currency that is, but thank you, man. <laughs> I don't know what that is. But I appreciate it. What's the DLC build looking like? I'm just gonna go in with, like, some random-ass faith or intelligence build, I don't know. And as soon as I find my first new weapon or new spell, I'm just gonna change up my build. We're just gonna keep switching back and forth. Arab Emirates Durham? Okay, cool. That one's getting you ruins. 
William. A clubfish. Thank you for the follow, man. Do I speak Arabic? No. Big katanas? Big katanas probably going to be in that DLC, and they're probably going to be some really good stuff. Probably going to be some good shit. Is Ribbit not here today? I... No. I haven't seen Ribbit today. Clearly, Ribbit is a fake fan. You have to do the heavy carrying fishmen for mud. Excited for the crucible wings? Why did you remove Can I get a high yard? Because it was annoying me, that's why. I got rid of it. You shall burn. Didn't like it anymore. It was fun like the first like week and I was it got, it got pretty pretty annoying. Favorite Soulsborne creator? Oh bro. That's a good question. This guy stinks! Favorite Soulsborne creator. Um. Hmm. Thank you for guiding me here. I'm trying to think of all the Souls creators that I would probably watch. Who do I watch? I don't know. I like Distortion, he's pretty cool. The one who walks alongside flame. I like Limit Breakers, he's funny. Shall one day meet the Vardy is cool as well. I don't really watch much Soulsborne content now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I don't watch Soulsborne content. You we don't lie, you know you think you are the best Souls YouTuber. LOL. Iron Pineapple's good too. Hmm. Favorite Soulsborne creator is Miyazaki? There you go. He is a pretty good Soulsborne creator. That is true. You think I'm the best? Oh, yeah. I do think I'm the best. That is true. Probably dealing with her cat or something. Exploded anal glands? Maybe. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. Hopefully her cat's doing fine. Probably shit itself too hard. It's Farah Missoula. Does he even play his own games? Probably not. It's fine, I'll message Ribbit saying that she's a fake fan. Absolute fake fan. There's no excuse as to why you should pick your real life over the Yui stream. Unbelievable. I don't like the implication of that bear in Kent. Why not? Fire Mazula or Arc Dragon Peak? Um. Probably Fire Mazula. How have you contact with her? I could just. Discord, I guess? That's the only place you can contact, right? <laughs> Are you not on the Discord, Fishman? Another fake Yui fan. Fake Yui fans everywhere. Keep the lore noting to a minimum. Here is Farm and Azola. I don't know. I'm afraid enough of rumors. <laughs> Fair enough. Level up. Not just yet. I have 300,000 souls. That's fine. <laughs> Why did I go for Yui as a name? Because it's my nickname in real life, so... Yui is just the way that it is. You wiener. Yeah, probably like Fire Missoula better. Like, 
Arc Dragon Peak is not. It's too. It's pretty small, and you have like the ancient wyvern there. It's kind of cringe. And like the level design is not too crazy. Albeit the level design of this area is not that bad either. Well, not that good either. I mean, I don't know. Probably this area. It is kind of nothing but like this reskinned enemies though, and it does have the god skin duo. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe Arc Dragon Peak doesn't have the god skin duo. That's fair. Which video have you been working on? We've, I basically finished my All Ashes of War video ranked yesterday. That video is actually done. All 91 Ashes of War. That will be uploaded tomorrow. Hopefully. I always run, run through. I mean, Azula has plenty of branching paths. Some of them are tied behind, you know, the... Stone Sword Keys, but... There's some branching paths. Um, okay, what the fuck do I level up? Okay, a bit of health, I guess. And probably a bit of faith, I guess. And then I gotta go... Okay. What's number two? No, if you figure it out tomorrow. Poison Moth Flight is number two. Last time I went on the Discord and said why I dislike O spamming bosses like Ravigan and Godfrey, a person said that I lacked grey matter in my brain because <laughs> I could just dodge the attacks when that wasn't I even lacked the point grey more. matter in my brain. <laughs> That's crazy. That's a skill issue. Then it's this. Did I not pick up another bell bearing? Oh no, I did. I get the other one of God's Kindor. True. Um. Bro, you know what? Where's the scythes? Okay, scythe, drop this at plus 25. I don't bother to upgrade this shit. Grave scythe, plus 25. Halo scythe. Plus 10, plus 10, cool. Now we have everything. Lots of scythes. Okay, what should we use to kill the Godskin Dewey? They are equally resist to fire and holy, so it basically doesn't matter. We might use Halo Scythe. Radagon's teleport is very annoying. Yeah, it can be annoying. Like, when he uses it sometimes to combo into certain things, but he kind of, like, teleports away. Like, if he teleports into an attack, it's kind of fine, but... He'd be teleporting away, and that's kind of annoying. One thing I should have picked up is Hallow Shibriri, honestly. Go into Mind. It's pretty the reasonable play. Mikella's Ring of Lights. We might go put on the Wing Scythe thing, do some good old power stancing. Maybe? I don't know. Actually, no, I'll sleep it off. Have you won 100% this game? Like, in terms of, like, achievements? No. I don't care to get the achievements. Matters to me not. It's like he tries to dodge it, and he can't dodge it. Because he's stupid. Oh, that hit me? Am I bad at video games? Let's get both of them to the second phase at once. Very intelligent. He actually not at the second phase, never mind. Now he's at the second phase. <laughs> Mistakes are made. Mistakes are made. That's fine. Big skill incoming. Come on, I didn't even see that attack. He cheated. Running out of heal. Bits. Let's stir the pot with a hot take. Valiant gargoyles are a very enjoyable boss. 
they grew on me exactly like millennia DOD. Oh, no stamina. Oh, it's gonna hit me. No, it's not. We're good. Which weapons deal elemental damage but can also be buffed? Um, I'm pretty sure the Troll's Hammer does fire damage and can be buffed as well. I'm pretty sure. And the Clayman's Harpoon. That's probably the best of the bunch. <sighs> Whoa, buddy, calm down. I didn't notice my health. Anyway. Going for all achievements makes a game- like, makes a lot of games no longer fun. That's why I just never do it. Like, there's no point. <laughs> like, what does doing all achievements actually do? Nothing! Let's go use the uh, wing scythe. It's more stupid. Mike, can I stop being bad? Okay, let, okay, we're not gonna use the wings. Oh, jeez, just yeeted my glasses. Ugh. Hold up. Let's go use. Let's go use something else. Let's go use the regular scythe. And put sword dance onto it. So that's going to be the play. Sword dance. Favorite beer? None. Oh my, I'm just gonna go in. I don't care anymore. I've given up. I don't care. I keep forgetting to switch and do the thing that I have gotta do. It's okay. Nothing matters. Everything is perfectly fine. Oh, every single time I get an opening, he just always throws a projectile. I'm sorry, what the fuck is that damage? I didn't even hear that attack! Where is the sound cue? I and mean, to be fair, I don't have my game turned up. I didn't even hear it. It's for a good cause, it's fine. Um... Um... Physic. I should probably take up these deathbed smalls and put on something that actually, like, does damage negation. Come to the conclusion that I don't like pure mage builds. Fair enough. Maybe just not using the right stuff. Ew, that's disgusting. That hit me as well. This game does not like me today. This game is not a Yui fan. Dodge that one, that's not a dodge. Why do they always throw projectiles? At the worst time. Sleep pots in a scythe marathon? I never use sleep pots against these guys in any of my playthroughs. Unless I'm using a playthrough that does use sleep, I guess. Then I guess it's fine. I don't need to anyway, I'm good at this game. Belly thrust? He didn't belly thrust. That's fine. Let's go fuck up with charged heavy attacks. Stay still. I uh, you bum. I love the roll catching attacks he gets in the first phase. I'm just gonna use it. Nice. Again? That was completely unintentional. I wanted to do the follow up and I clicked the wrong button. Yeah, that was a mistake. Didn't use infills much, so I probably just used that for the pure dexterity casting. What the fuck, man? 
Throw a projectile? That's not throwing a projectile. I missed. My skills are too poor for a pure caster. You can just use like Catch Flame and Carry and Slicer. It works like every weapon. You just boss disgusts me. Just disgust me. Actually disgusting. Heavy attack. Heavy attack. That's cheating. Stay at full health, more damage. Health is deteriorating every single stream? Oh my god, the, does the worst combos. What's this RNG? Charged heavy! I won, we did it, we beat him. Easy game, let's go save that gameplay for this stupid ass video. Wow. We have enough gameplay now, that's fine. Now we can go beat the game using whatever the fuck I want to. Let's go run to Malekith. Malekith. We use the Great Shield Talisman? For what? <laughs> the Great Shield Talisman? I don't have a shield. <laughs> what? You we what's your opinion on how birds in souls likes? Souls likes? What does that mean? Like it's in the souls games and what do you mean? What do you mean? Like are you just asking my opinion on halberds? They're okay, I guess. Not my favorite thing aesthetically. That's just souls games, not souls likes. Souls likes implies none from software. They're pretty good. I mean, the halberds are just amazing in Dark Souls 1. Like, they're just the best weapon class in Dark Souls 1. By a lot. <laughs> um, Dark Souls 2, I do not like pole arms. They kind of fucking suck. Because of sweet spot damage and, like, doo-doo movesets. Dark Souls 3, they're okay. A lot of weapons in Dark Souls 3 tend to just be outclassed by, um... Straight swords and stuff. Scarlet Rod is Elden Ring's toxic? Yeah, it is. Kinda. But just better. Weapon choice IRL? Um, I don't know, something that's light and easy to use. Because I'm weak and frail and stupid. Favorite dragon boss? Come on now. <laughs> it's not even a question. <laughs> a gat, yeah. Lucerne for IRL seems like a good option. Kinda. It's probably too heavy for me though. I could probably only use like a straight sword or a katana. Iron balls? That it would not be good. What about sin? What about sin? Fucking mid-ass boss. It's just like fighting the Elden Beast. It's like you either get like good RNG and it's actually not that bad of a boss fight, or it just keeps flying around all over the place and it's like the worst thing of all time. So it kind of just balances out to this very mid. Best weapon from any FromSoft game. The best weapon in any from I don't know. I don't know. Spells. There you go. Projectiles. Projectiles beat all the games. Ah, uh, Mythic. What's going on, man? What's up? What's up? I have a video of the best weapon in every single game, so you can go check that out. Spells. 
The Let's Leaf Greatsword. Split Leaf is cool. What would your D&D &D class be? I've never played Dungeons and Dragons in my life, so I don't know. I guess we're just going into this boss fight. I wasn't even paying attention. Ah, uh, Slave Knights. Thank you for the follow, man. I love Sin. I don't. It could be a very boring boss fight. Sometimes it could be okay, but like, I don't know. At, at best, Sin is just like a decent boss. I don't think he's like a good boss. And definitely not comparable to like, mid as a dragon boss fight. Not even close. I'm just healing my shit, you piece of doo-doo dum-dum. Have new game plus seven file and spells are pretty much the best thing other than power stancing blade jumping. Yeah. It'd definitely be that way. It do be like that sometimes. Have you ever tried the Knight Rider's Glaive? Of course I have. The fact that it breaks your weapon so fast is ass. What's this? I wasn't paying attention. Is Graveside still the best? Um, maybe, I don't know. Probably is. I mean, Sin? Oh yeah, Sin. Yeah, true, yeah. He sucks. Sin is a good boss. At best, he's a good boss. He's not a great boss. At best, he's like a 7.5 out of 10. Maybe an 8. Calamine's a good boss. I like Calamine. I like Calamine better than Sin. Oh, for fuck's sakes. I wasn't paying attention. Where the fuck is he? There he is. That's okay. <laughs> I should have rolled the other way. He was actually... Oh. I thought he was closer to me. That's fair. He was at that distance to where I needed to roll forwards. Um, let's go switch to black... No. <laughs> I think it's black flame tornado. Um... Go use flaming strike. Why fears dress drip? Drip? Because... You know. Why not? Looks like a grim reaper. Dodge, dodge. 1200 damage, flaming strike is stupid. Oh, you wee, my knight in shining armor, the peanut butter to my jelly. It feels like just yesterday that I gazed upon you for the first time. Every time I see you, I can't what help but you smile on about, I get butterflies in my stomach, keep being you, romantic face. What are you on about? That didn't poise break? I should have went for the charge, that's fine. Ah, uh, great sword, let's go on, man. How are things? I was not expecting that. Now I'm dead. We're good. Take advantage of the iframes. Oh, you wee, my knight in shining armor, the peanut butter oh my to my God. jelly. It feels like just yesterday that I gazed upon you for the first time. What's wrong time. with you guys? Every time I see you, I can't help but smile and I get butterflies in my stomach. Keep being you, romantic face. How am I getting hit by this? 
Where is this copy pasta even from anyway? Charged heavy attack. I won. You we rizzed up the whole chat? That's what I'd be doing. Let's go use the wing scythe for Guidian. Mad Scientist the 14th, thank you for the follow. I said that a few streams ago. Oh. Now it's a copy pasta. It all like blurs together. <coughs> I'm dying. <coughs> Love your vids, first time seeing you live. Hey, it's going on kite. Thank you for stopping by, man. I'm glad that you like the vids. I like my vids too. Does the wing scythe actually work affect the Gideon? Yeah, it should. It works against all NPCs that can heal with a flask. Oh, that's pretty edgy. Look at that. Very edgy. Wow. Much edge. Very cool. Az Fenir. Oh, Fenrir. What's going on, man? What's up? Unbound. The rune of death is unbound. I should be a voice actor in these games. Favorite scythe? I like the grave scythe because it looks the coolest. This watch all weapons ranked video? That was good. The all weapons ranked video? I didn't make a video like that. But tomorrow we're gonna have the Ash of War ranking thingy. Farewell, it is then. You should just do a day in your life vid, like a day in the life of Yui. You okay, I'll give you the rundown of my yet. days. I basically wake up, I just stay on my phone for about 30 minutes, I'll go have some cereal, I click the live button, I stream, then afterwards I'll go eat, maybe jack off, who knows, then I get back on the game, then I make some more content, make a video, edit that video. Then I lay down in bed playing more games or like watching anime or reading manga. That's about it. And if there's like some sport on, then I watch a game, like an NBA game or some shit or an NFL game, depending oh, on what time of the year it is. Wookie, wookie, smoky, cookie bear. You shine as bright as 1,000 suns. You bring joy to many and love to few. Keep being you. Goodbye for now, my pookie smooky bear love of my life. The hell, man. Dream life for real? <laughs> Your life is a movie? <laughs> Basically, is. you're a full-time creator? Yeah. I mean, I don't make, like, videos, like, three times a week and stream every single day and actually have a fucking real Jimmy, job, you know? My pookie wookie smooky cookie bear. You shine as Next person as that spends. Suns. You bring joy to many and love Getting to Getting timed out. Keep being you. Goodbye for now, my pookie smooky bear love of my life. How much money you make? Jeez. How much money do I make? Take me out for a date first before asking me personal questions. Favorite NBA team? I go for the Suns. I love your chat. Somebody has to. Somebody has to like them. Okay, let's go with Sacred Scorpion Charm. We'll go with the Sword Insignia. Oh, yes, Daddy. And then we just hope to God that we don't get one shot and I still have the Faith tier on. Did I get a haircut? I did get a haircut. Is my Fade looking fresh? I think my Fade is pretty fresh. Surprise there's no Death Scythe? Maybe in another game. Maybe in the DLC. Ugh. Um, should I go with the backstab or should I go with the kid? Maybe still lets we get the backstab off? No, it doesn't. We just spam. Try and heal now, buddy. Try and heal now. Yeah, he didn't stand the chance. Rip, bozo. Why hasn't the other regular popped in? the other regulars. People are just, um, they have their own times in life of which they do different things, I guess. I don't know. The other mods? Maybe they just got better things to do, you know? Okay, let's go use this until... What should I use for killing? 
Look at power stance, actually. I'm fat rolling already? How? All oh, the fucking boots. Um. Actually, no, let's not power stance. We're just gonna stick with this. Take off these heavy ass boots. I did a randomizer and had plus a deuce axe in this arena. I kinda wanna do another randomizer. Haven't done one in a while. It's been a minute. I'm gonna bother to level up, let's just go kill the boss. Should they're so fun? Yeah, I've done like five already, so like, and I've done like challenge runs in those ones too, like a level one randomizer. Did I do a spell only randomizer? I think I did one of those. I forget. I'm always here unless my sport teams are playing. That's fair. At least one of my mods is here. Maybe I need another mod. I mean, the chat's been behaving so far, I guess. It's been a long while, Morgot. Rip Morgot. Most viewers you've ever gotten? I don't know, probably like in the hundreds when I had someone like give me a host. Organically, I don't know, probably about a hundred and something. Somewhere around there. By the grace of gold. I am Yui's biggest fan. I literally eat, sleep, and breathe fanness for Nems. When I cry, Yui cheers me up. When I'm happy, watching Yui is the reason. We're watching the cutscene and here you are. When I'm angry, watching Yui helps. Literally any bad feeling is non-existent as I just play Y. I got cut off. Why didn't get cut off? Never mind. Never noticed the side of Grace pointing towards the tarnished? Yeah, it's Morgoth's corpse. His corpse turns into like the Grace or some shit. Places and I never found the Dectus life. To be granted audience once more. You can actually go um, look up where you actually find items in a randomizer if you go to the um the log page. And you can go type up what item item you're looking for. I feel sorry for Godfrey, he lost all of his sons. Yeah, poor guy. This is all Marika's fault. Best therapist? Me? I don't know about that. I memorized Godfrey's entire speech. Why would you do that? Didn't have enough time for two whole light attacks. That's so bad. The recovery frames are egregious. Can I get a poise break? Thank you. Let's just go backstab him. Why not? Hit him from the back. Wow. How did this happen? That's gonna hurt. Thank god that didn't kill me. Double chug. Can you do your transformation, please? Surely he does it now, right? Thank you. I had no more FP. Maybe I'll do a randomizer marathon. That's true. Could do one of those. But I kind of want to do something where I can like rank it as well, you know? You we this comes from the heart. For fuck's I wanted sense. you to know that you help me wake up in the morning. I'm about a mute TTS. You allow TTS. me to live to my fullest with all your motivation that radiates from your stunning face. You have a face that was sculpted of the gods. Love you, Pookie Yui. That is true though, I am very pretty. Extremely good looking. Top 5 prettiest Soulsborne content creators, surely.
<laughs> the bosses announce their names. It's the stupidest thing. Now I fight as Horolu! Warrior! They thought they really cooked with that line. That's a terrible line. <laughs> Literally Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> now I'm Horolu! I've given thee courtesy enough. This is my alternative personality. Don't let the old me come out. You're gonna get the real Slim Shady now. Would you include Sekiro in the randomizer? Yeah, sure. Only if you want me to. Hob just got hit in the by the Dirty Colossus after beating Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 3 hitless soul level 1. Ew, Dirty Colossus. What, did he get hit by like the projectile or something? Or did he just like fuck up? <laughs> when I see red, it's over. <laughs> How did his armor disappear? Don't ask questions. He threw himself into the fire pole? Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Not even getting hit by the boss. A fire pole. You cultivated an He's doing it back to back? encourages people to love you. And literally care for you. Look, I did it three times. I have no more FP. Embarrassment you I always never have FP. Being this awesome is worth your career and livelihood. What? I'm using the plus five side. I was like wondering why my damage is so bad. I was using my plus five one. It's like why is my damage so? I'm such an idiot. I wasn't paying attention, like, why am I, like, not seeing yellow bar? It's like, I know, I know he's, like, resist to holy damage, but he's only 40% resist. It shouldn't be that bad. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> okay, now we should die. We I mean, should have been dead, but that's fine. Do you like the praise more or less than the nose jokes? <laughs> like honestly, I don't mind either of them, honestly. I'm not gonna lie. Well, there's sometimes here in like the TTS back to back is kind of annoying. Cause I'm like it interrupts my thoughts. And sometimes you just wanna like, you know, read the chat or pay attention to something, then you get interrupted by fucking TTS. So it's more so a TTS than anything else. Make it more expensive? I think you're right, I should make it more expensive. Make it more expensive across the board. Um, let's go kill this stupid ass boss. We're not gonna be using holy damage, we're gonna be responsible and... We're going to use fire damage instead. It's only 200? Yeah. Actually, we use Black Flame Tornado. It's a good time to use Black Flame Tornado. Why not? This should be doing lots of damage. <laughs> I want the fire team. Why are you bullying me? I need fire tier. I know, like, I made all, like, the alerts and stuff pretty cheap, but now that, like, there's more viewers in here and more people that I can spam, and people are, like, you know... I have 67,000 points, I could just spam it until I got banned. I mean, I did have, like, a cooldown, you know? Before, I didn't even have a cooldown on, like, anything. Like, no cooldown on any alerts or any sound effects, and they were all, like, dirt cheap. Because if anybody spams, I can just time them out, you know, like... 
But I guess now's the time. Probably make TTS at least a thousand points. Carrot underscore carrot. What the fuck did TTS just- what did he call it? <laughs> What's that symbol called? You can use torrents there? No, you can't. I have cheat engine on. But did I use torrent there? I wasn't even paying attention. I just like instinctively like use torrent. Because every single time that I'm getting gameplay... Um... When I'm doing my videos, I always just turn on the button to like activate the horse where I can ride it everywhere. Because it just makes the process from getting from boss to boss like a lot quicker. So... <laughs> I turn that on and I turn on the ability to teleport while in combat as well. There's like the two things that I turn on. I think he put the holy tier on. Oh, uh, did I not switch to the fire tier? That's the only reason I went back to the grace. Did I go back to the grace and do nothing? Don't use torrent against Elden Beast. I'm not going to use it against the boss fight. And honestly, I've done it before. I fought Elden Beast with torrent. It doesn't make it that. It doesn't make it easier. I mean, some attacks are. It's not that much easier, I guess. I feel like you could beat Radagon, but not Elden Beast? Or Godfrey? That's gonna hurt. Okay, now what do I have on? I have the fire tier on. Okay, we're good. It's fine. I have the fire tier. There's no way I couldn't chug twice there. There's no way I couldn't even get off one light attack there. Bro, sights are so ass. Rarely see him do it back to back. Now he's projectile spamming. Come on, buddy, you gotta give me an attack. Oh my goodness, he does not like me today, and I... That's better. He can chain cast that? Yeah, he can do double. It happens when, like, you're further away. He... What is he doing? I was gonna go for it. You're a dick. <laughs> what a dick. Just kill me, start again. This is pissing me off. I can never believe that you can't even like heal twice, heal once, trying to like do one attack. I've been... The recovery frames of everything that I've done, that entire fight, punished me. Every single one. I couldn't do anything. Start again. That fight was beyond terrible. My favorite Dark Souls 3 weapon? Probably the Demon Skull. It's pretty cool. Elden Beast is a great boss fight. People couldn't acclimate to Elden Ring well because they've been tainted by Dark Souls 3 old outdated combat system. What do you mean by that, bro? <laughs> I agree that Elden Beast is a good boss fight. Um, not great, I'll say good. But like, how is the combat system different to Dark Souls 3 and how did people acclimate to it differently? I don't know. Oh, Real dick move, buddy. Stay still. It ducked underneath the attack. Isn't that cool? I try to roll early so I can get my attack off in time, but... He just input read my heal. What a dick. Chad is beating me.
I wanted to use Black Flame. We have Flaming Strike on that already. Are you doing any bosses after this? Yeah, we're going to do like Millennia and stuff like that and maybe Flaccid Sex. And Moog, yeah, I forgot about Moog. We'll do Moog too. Probably go to the Consecrated Snowfall to go there. Okay, now we've got a Flaming Strike, we're just gonna win this time. I said, let me win. Poise Break. Thank you. Heal again. Input reading for heals is only to be annoying? Yeah. <laughs> Not a lot of heal, fuck you. Never use Flaming Strike, looks pretty good. Flaming Strike is a top 10 weapon skill in this game. You'll see on my Tamari's video where I put it. You know, if Blood Flame makes sense versus Elden Beast, if Blood Flame makes sense, you can't proc Blade on the Elden Beast if that's what you're asking. He is immune to all status effects. Elden Beast is a good boss when it doesn't run away. Yeah. Hope Unsheath is top 5. It's not top 5. It's gonna be up there though. It's up there, but it's not top 5. Excited for a somber Ashes ranking. Well, we rank the unique skills at one point, yeah. It'll be like, who knows when. These videos take so long. How big do you think the DLC is gonna be? It'll be like a 30 hour experience. If like, assuming the base game took you 100 hours, I'm thinking the DLC is gonna be 30 hours. If you suck at the game, maybe 50 hours. <laughs> Get the gigabytes? I'm gonna talk about file size, because file size doesn't equate to like how large the game is gonna be. Does not at all. Because if the file size of the DLC, say if it's like half the size of the base game, it's not going to be half the size of the actual game. It'll probably end up being like a quarter, because like a lot of assets, like the size of like something like that, determines on like how many like unique assets that you have, how many different types of like models and things like that. So if it's like a large file size, the only thing that's pretty guaranteed is that it's going to be a bunch of unique stuff. So probably not reskin the enemies and bosses. Black Flame Tornado is overpowered. Um, okay, cool. Pro tip, just ignore Elden Stars. Don't bother dodging it, just ignore it. Unless you're doing a level 1 run, then I guess dodging is pretty important. I want new Crucible Knight armor. What Crucible Knight armor? Like, what do you mean new ones? Like, you want them to design something similar? What do you mean? My dearest Huey, my whole body my is covered in like this white goo. Maze. You're the comforting warmth on chilly the yellow blood. The unwavering support in my adventures. 
like a fine-tuned instrument, you resonate with my heart's deepest chords, filling my days with endless. Tornado shreds, yeah, Tornado fucks up everything in the game. All bosses. Pretty good stuff. And the funny thing is you don't even need like um, faith to do it as well. 800,000 souls. That's a healthy amount. You know what I would like to have instead? Mind. <laughs> that sounds responsible. TTS didn't want to read all that? Yeah, TTS has a, a limit. Before I didn't even have a limit on TTS. Okay, well that's the base game done. Let's go kill some other bosses. Um, what bosses are we going to kill? Let's go kill Commander Neal. And then go head to the Consecrated Snowfield. Um, see you, Ghost. You have a good one, man. Heard that DLC will have less stupid and useless stuff in terms of weapons, armor, and spells? I hope there's a healthy amount of stupid and shit stuff, because that's more content for me. I can make top five worst things in the game. <laughs> I kind of hope there is, like, shit stuff. Just for, like, the memes. Because there's going to be plenty of, like, really good stuff in the DLC, so... We're going to be occupied with enough stuff. Why don't I go to the gym? Because I don't have enough time. That's why. Let's go kill the Deathbird. When the DLC comes out, when you do runs in the future, you'll also do the DLC? Of course I will. The DLC for end up being the best part about the game. So if I'm gonna do a, like a whole playthrough, might as well include the DLC. Elden Ring is going to have the uh, best bosses in the Soul series. Do I think that it does? No. So Elden Ring is probably third. Behind Dark Souls 3 and Sekiro. Maybe when the DLC comes out, it probably ends up getting number one. This might sound dumb, but your numbers might drop when DLC comes out. As people might not want spoilers or stuff like that. Bro, you're so shit. Hit him in the head, there you go. No, miss me please. I'm stuck on nothing. How does all of that hit me? This guy is broken, he does too much damage. But so am I! Do squats and one-arm push-ups and you don't need a gym. You know what? I need to go back to doing every single time that I die, I go do 10 push-ups. We need to go back to doing that. Why do some stupid challenge run? Where every death is 10 push-ups. Should start now? No, no, no. Every hit you take a shot and... <laughs> Talk about working out here. I prefer boy toy male wife femme twink yui. What? <laughs> I'm the most masculine man that I know. What do you mean, femboy? Fem twink. Why did you kill the bird? Because, why not? I was walking past it, and I had holy damage, so I was like, why not?
Am I not allowed to fight and kill bosses in this game? Do I need your permission first? Always oh, so toxic, jeez. Yes. I'll make sure to like ask for permission first. How do I want to ask for permission? Should I message you first? I can win this fight. I can win this. It's fine. I can win. It's just a bird. And it hurts. I can win this fight. This fight is winnable. This fight is winnable. There's another one? That's fine. There's two more? That's fine. I can win this. We didn't win. Who put the- how did the bird get inside? Why are you running? Why are you running? I wish I could fight the Nameless King IRL. Then this shit bird in the game. <laughs> Fair enough. 10 push-ups? No, we're not doing 10 push-ups now. We'll start that concept like next week. When I do other- maybe when I do like the next marathon. A level 1 marathon, but every death is 10 push-ups. What are your thoughts? I wanted to buff, but I guess not. If I die to Nial, 10 push-ups? I've never seen that heavy attack. What the fuck was that? That's some nice damage through a shield. That was pretty good. One chug of the flask is 10 push ups. <laughs> no, that's cheating. You can't do that. My health bar is pretty healthy. I never have this healthy of a health bar. Can I get a poise break, please? I hit him like two light attacks. Can I get a poise break? <laughs> this fucking guy. Can I hit him? It does hit him. This weapon is good. This is an amazing weapon. I don't know, what are you guys' thoughts? Do you think the Halo Scythe or the Grave Scythe is better? Maybe if you're looking at the versatility. I was using a plus 20 version the entire time. I could have been using a plus 25 version. Oh, I'm an idiot. I use a plus 20 weapon against the stupid boss. I forgot to... You know what? Fuck this shit. Are you fighting Fortisax? No, Fortisax is very out of the way. And it's like scaled for like early game. Or like mid game. If I fought him now, he just die in two hits and it takes way too much effort to get there. And I forgot to get pick up any grace that's next to the other medallion. So what we're gonna do instead... Is teleport there. Halo Scythe because it's Samba. Yeah, that's kind of valid I guess. Although a Spinning Strikes Grave Scythe build is probably better than anything else. Did you forget anything? I don't think so. What about Placid Dusax? We can kill Placid Dusax later. Um, let's go leave this on just in case I get hit by like everything along the way. We just head north, and hopefully not fall off any cliff. I don't know what to put higher. If there was actually like a good bleed halberd in this game, it kind of make the Grave Scythe kind of useless. But being that the Grave Scythe is just better than the Vulgar Militia Soul, it still has a use.
All the weapons are maxed out, yeah. Is it unpopular to think that Placid Dusax is not fun? Um, it shouldn't be an unpopular opinion, but it is. Look, I think the first time fighting him, it was really good. And I think that's all that matters. Because, like, my first playthrough, he was, like, an amazing boss fight. And ever since then, in successive um, playthroughs, I was like, nah, fuck this boss. Ah, uh, Julius is gone, man. I got kicked out the depot. Out of what? Halo is better as long as it's not Malekith or Elden Beast. Yeah, probably. My question is, like, do I rank... Hmm. Where do I rank Freyda's Great Scythe and the Burial Blade? Because, like, Freyda's Great Scythe is good. Because those... People are going to be clicking on that video expecting those two to be number one and two. And they're not going to be, so... They're going to be, like, number 5 and 6, maybe. Because, like, if the criteria is how good it is in its own game... They're going to have to get lower. Because, like, Burial Blade is, like, probably, like, around about number 10 in Bloodborne. Which is, like, what? Top 25% weapon or top 30% weapon? Freyda's Scythe is probably around about top 20 in the game. But then again, so is like Halo Scythe and Grave Scythe. They're kind of around about that same area. But I like the Corvian Scythe better than the Freyda's Scythe. It's just more versatile. Although the weapon skill kind of sucks. Freyda's Scythe is... Oh, I don't know. Are good against the Seagood boss? Yeah, they're pretty good. Surely they're pretty good. Moog face would be better without the floor hazards? Yeah, probably. These guys are weak to holy damage, right? Yeah. Have I played Wulong? I have not played Wulong. I played the demo, and I was like, this is okay. I was talking about 12 hour shifts the whole week. They kicked me up because I was five minutes late. You worked 12 hour shifts and they kicked you up because you were five minutes late? Was it like a, a, a repeat offender or something? Or are you typically always late? What time is it where I live? Um, 12.20 p.m. I get up early to stream for you guys, because you guys live in terrible locations. What name is the weapon? This is the Halo Scythe. 3.21 AM? 10.20 PM. Whereabouts is at 10.20 PM? Canada? Interesting. Is the East Coast? Okay. That's fair. A lot of East Coast motherfuckers then. 4.22 AM? Whereabouts is it at 4.22? Okay, where do you guys live? How about that? <laughs> That's a better question. Where do you guys live? What country everyone from? What average level do I finish Elden Ring? Average level, you probably want to be between 120 and 150. Like, I've been playing for like, what? Not even four hours, and I'm at level 113. I'm gonna get to over level 120. Egypt, Rio, Michigan, Germany, Argentina, New Mexico, Finland, UK. Damn! Everyone's from everywhere. Toronto, Dominican Republic. 
I just like assume everyone's like just American. I don't know why. <laughs> I just like assume everyone's American. I mean, most of my demographic of my YouTube viewers, I think it's like 70% American. So that's probably why. New Jersey, Texas, Saudi Arabia, Tunisia. Damn. Cheer one, 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 you we you should give well long a shot. Why is it saying that whole fucking thing? And is so much better than Neo. It's so fun to deflect everything and you can parry critical attacks in badass ways. Do you watch the Bingo League? No, I've actually never seen Bingo League at all. I don't even know like how it really works. I mean, kind of understand how it works. It's like bingo, so you get to do certain objectives and stuff, but I've never seen it. Have I played Hollow Knight? I have played Hollow Knight. The Albaneric armor would look great with a Halo Scythe. That's not what I wanted to do. That is not what I wanted to do. I just want to block. South American, Brooklyn, Utah. Damn. Did I beat Arc Thrones? Yeah. I beat it in like the first, what, couple days. It was pretty good. Definitely the best mod ever made. Um, will you stream Silk Song if it ever yeah, comes out? <laughs> if Silk Song is real, then sure. Okay, we're gonna do the skip this time. Surely we get it this time. Is Caleb based in Australia? No. Millennia weak to holy? No, Millennia is actually resist to holy damage, just like every other boss. This, in this is a test game. to see if it's fixed. And a free 25 bit sick. No. Why did I do that? I think the scythe animation for the repost doesn't work. Let's do that again. Come back. Surely we get it this time. No! <laughs> I had it that one. That was the one. That was the one. Dude, the funny thing is, my first time attempting this, I literally did it first try. Literally first try, and I haven't done it since. Characters' clothes look like a Muslim woman. These ones? Does it? Not want to wear a scythe. Ha ha ha. How are you level 120 in 4 hours? It's called putting on the gold scarab talisman. After every single boss. There we go. Easy game. Nice. Um, fantastic. Yeah, gold pickled foul feet as well. That works. Gold pickled foul feet and gold scarab talisman. And I consume all like the boss remembrances as well. Do those things and make sure you just pop off to every single boss fight and killing later game bosses gives you a lot. So. She missed! Huge! Big boy damage. I think this consumes more stamina than like regular Sacred Ring of Light.
Can you stop running away? I not projectile, so it's fine. That's okay. Fighting with projectiles is so much better. So much better to fight it with projectiles. Surprised she isn't resist the holy? No, she's like one of the few bosses. <laughs> the later part of the game. That's fine. We're probably end up getting like above level 120 something. We're level 116. After we kill Millennia. If I had some more gold pickled foul feet. If I got the some um, sort of patches in the other one in Limgrave. And use it against these late game bosses, I could probably get to like level 130. Maybe. But I still haven't killed Millennia, Moog, or Placid Dusax, and all those bosses give you a lot of... A lot of runes. Why play Holy? Well, we're doing a Scythe Marathon, of which we're using all the Scythes. And two of them... Do Holy damage. So... That is in fact why. We can go back to the, uh... Regular Scythe though. We can do that. Die. Wow. Easy game. Rest. Our assizes look so cool. They always like just look super clean. Nice. Freda cosplay? Well, we meant to be like a Grim Reaper cosplay, but I guess Freda cosplay works too. So. Freda works. A fire scythe does look pretty cool though. Why did I go there? Right, this still works. We're good. One thing I actually haven't done is do the dung eater um ending. Is it like any different? Is it like a different cutscene or do you still like to sit on a chair? Who the fuck is that? Is there a flame vent from Sekiro? Yeah, it's inspired from that, yeah. Sekiro's flame vent. Same cutscene, but the sky looks different. Huge. That's so cool. Massive difference. You still sit on a chair. <laughs> Love that. Please give me advice on Millennia. Um, dodge forwards for her double swiping attack. Um, waterfowl dance, just run backwards and hope for the best. Um, and yeah. <laughs> Use fire damage, I guess. Yeah, Mogwin's Sacred Spear fucks her up. Or Davis's Greatsword fucks her up. Lots of things fuck her up. Mm -mm. All the mending endings are incredibly disappointing. You don't like the idea of sitting on a chair? The ending dialogue is disgusted with us. What's the ending dialogue? The yeah, Eleonoris can make quick work too, yeah. Is there a ghost flame ash of war that can be infused onto weapons? No. 
there is no ghost flame ash of all. That would be cool, though. Would be cool. I sit on a chair the whole day. Same. Can I stop hitting me from the back with the thing? Pause. But still. Um, okay, let's go fuck it up with fire damage. How many more bosses do I have left? Um, well, we're gonna go fight Millennia, then we'll go fight Moog. Go fight Placid Dusax, I guess, as well. What's my favorite build? I don't have a favorite build. Do I still have the fire tier? Yeah, cool. I like Maraka's hammer the best in terms of like weapons. It's really cool. But <laughs> I didn't think I have like a particular favorite build, I'm not gonna lie. Most annoying and strongest human like mini bosses. Most annoying and strongest human like mini bosses? What do you mean? Like invaders? What? In this game? Well, like rune bears and stuff? Like you talk about just like enemies? Like rune bears are pretty annoying. How the hell did I use Torrent's cheat engine? I forgot that I actually even used Torrent. I'm just like so used to just using it all the time. I have the button turned on. Let's turn it off actually. <laughs> People are getting confused. Because I always have it on when I'm like playing off stream. I just have that button that's turned on. To where I can just like ride anywhere all the time. It's very helpful for when I get gameplay. It saves me from having to, like, run between boss to boss and stuff. Very helpful. So long. Number one girl boss. My flesh was dull gold. She is cool. And my blood what do you think is the hardest Soulsborne game? Uh, probably the first one. Corpse after corpse. Whatever one you play first. You gonna rank the scythes? Yes, we are. We're gonna make a video ranking every single scythe across every single Soulsborne game. That'll probably be out in like a few days. I gotta get the gameplay first and figure out how I'm gonna rank them all. Heed my words. Rani and Frenzy are the only endings with any value? Yeah, at least they can result in a cool screenshot, I guess. Took 12 hours to beat Millennia New Game Plus. I didn't know about her during my first playthrough. So glad that it's over. <laughs> nice. And I have never known defeat. <laughs> Deathbird Spirit Ash. I didn't even see her health. That's valid, I guess. Didn't notice how much damage I was doing. Ah, uh, Neva, what's going on, man? How are things? Which one is stronger, Freyda or Millennia? Um, probably Millennia. Like, <laughs> Freyda doesn't have like much health until she gets like to the third phase. Millennia has like a decent amount of health and obviously like you know, health life still effects, health regen. It looks like pretty today. I look pretty every day, but yeah, today I look kind of clean because I got a haircut yesterday. I agree. Hello, girl? I'm um, Uki, what's going on, man? Wow. The DLC have dragon summons? <laughs> a dragon summon? I guess tomorrow pretty too, yeah. She's so squishy in new game. I mean, she's weak to, um, weaker to fire damage by a decent amount. Amount. Have you ever had a female in my chat? Um, yeah. I think there's one in there right now, so. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? Um, do you think I should focus on one stats for damage, or should I distribute them for a range of weapons? For my DLC character. Well, like, what level are you? If you're, like, above level 150, then you can kind of, like, distribute them evenly.
If you're like less than 150, you probably won't have spec into a particular build. Kind of for the Kung Fu Ash War? The Kung Fu Ash War does sound good. Yeah, it looks really cool. I want to play with it. We should go for the Radagon haircut. <laughs> I think my haircut is perfectly fine. Favorite Elden Ring voice actor? Um, I don't think so, no. Who's got a actually gold mask? Yeah. Definitely the best one. I wish she was not naked. <laughs> I didn't mind the artistic choice there. It's like you see nipples, you know. <laughs> Could be worse. She's still like a half decaying corpse, you know? I don't think it's like... The worst thing in the world. Her being naked does make sense, yeah. The rotisserie is too much for some people. Wondering who voices Millennial? I've seen her, I forget what her name is. There's no way that missed the first one. That's so cringe. The butterfly milf. Charged heavy attack. Stay still. Why is she naked? I don't know. <laughs> Either way, she's dead. GG. Um, cool. Let's go fight Flaccid Sex. Don't go finish it off with Moog. What should I use? I might put Stormcaller on the Gravesite. That's gonna be the play. That's gonna be- actually Black Flame Tornado, I take it back. Black Flame Tornado is just better than Stormcaller. I forget that I have that. I should get the Fire Scorpion Charm, but I'm not bothered. Do you prefer a light roll or mid roll? I mean, I obviously prefer to have light roll, but... Sometimes you have to spec into more endurance, which I never do anyway, so... Speaking of which, if I'm using Black Flame Tornado, I might as well spec into it. Um, cool. Let's go kill Flaccid Sex. You made her look easy? It's because she is easy. I'm kidding. That's what happens when you fight a boss a thousand times. That's basically what happens. Black Flame Tornado has that freighter vibe? That is true. This scythe doesn't really look like freighters. I could have left on the regular scythe. That would have been more like freighter cosplay. But that's okay. Favorite Chalice Dungeon type? I don't <laughs> have a favorite Chalice Dungeon type. I don't even know like the differences, honestly. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> they all look the fucking same to me. Okay, let's just do this first try and not suck at the game. Literally kill everyone who reduces her character to just being naked. Huh? What does that even mean? 
I'm a sucker for the ailing Lorian aesthetic. Let's look this up. I don't know. Did they look any difference? Alien Lauren Chalice. Images. It looks like everything else, but it's like more like yellow. <laughs> it looks like all the other dungeons. I don't know. They all look. They all look alike. The orange light. On this beast there as well. Okay, that's fair enough. That is fair though. The orange does look a lot nicer than having like a darker color. It means you actually can see where the fuck you're going. I can appreciate that. Did this with my character after a few new game pluses just to try multiple weapons and it's really good. It's a dragon! You watched Jujutsu? Yeah, I've watched Jujutsu uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. I've only watched like the first season though, I haven't seen anything else. I'm not sure if there's a second season. I think there's like a movie or some shit, I don't know. It was like a while ago. Like one thing they did good with the dragons, it, they made them look really cool. I mean they kind of always do that, they always make dragons look really nice. They don't really fuck up with the dragons honestly, in terms of like their design. They make them look pretty badass. Um, I should have used flame going strength closer towards the boss. By the time I get there. <laughs> That's okay. I feel like this is another boss where they should be like ride my horse, you know? Ew, that's disgusting. Couldn't even roll there. What? Oh, this game cheated me. Okay, just stay still. Let me get this entire cup. Oh, what the fuck? I wanted to roll! Fuck it, we're trading out. I didn't care. It does dog shit damage, so who cares? Have you done a whip only challenge? Or like a, a marathon beating all the games using a whip? Or are you talking about like specifically this game? I've done plenty of whip runs in this game, if that's what you're asking. By plenty, I mean like two. So like because there's only like two unique skills out there. Actually, no, I've done a few. I think I did an Urmi heavy attack run. Probably three or four, actually. I forget. Plus, the Dusax is more tanky than Elven Beast. Don't teleport. That works. I'm going to trade out. I don't care. That's some big boy damage right there. I just love how I got hit three times by that attack, by the way. One fire breath. Three hits. That's so stupid. <laughs> Kalamit is the goat in terms of design. I like Kalamit's design. That's an insane take. I don't think that's an insane take. Kalamit looks really cool. That cool, like, red glowing eye and that cool grab attack that he gets. And having, like, you know, like a different, like a black... A black-yellow fire effect. I think it looks pretty cool. Wait, stay still. Oh, Get fucked, buddy. GG. Get clapped. So I black flames on it, it was amazing. Because he was about to teleport again. Yeah, I think Medir is like the coolest looking dragon and the best dragon too. I think Medir looks like the most menacing. And when he does like those certain types of attacks, that certain like dark attack that he gets and he fucking spreads his wings, that shit looks so badass, man. Most badass shit of all time. Okay, let's go pay a trip to Moog. We must run there. Use it against 
for, for the first time last night, couldn't believe how fast it melted? Yeah. It do be really strong. Do be indubitably. My dear edits are fire. I haven't seen any edits, but... He is really cool. I don't really watch Dark Souls edits, so... Your character's l shoes look like they're from Dr. Seuss. <laughs> what shoes am I wearing? The malformed dragon grease. I can't even tell. Mogi Wogi. <laughs> I give pet names to Moog. Do you watch Destiny 2 edits? I don't watch any edits, honestly. <laughs> I don't watch any edits for anything. I mean, I'll see some, like, sometimes you're scrolling through some shit, like some shorts or something like that, and you might see something pop up. Or, like, on YouTube, I don't know. Just randomly. I've seen a couple, like, secular edits. They're like that, that's, like, the game that I've seen the most amount of edits, though. <laughs> you watch his Sigma edits? Yeah. Come here, buddy. He dodged! That wasn't guaranteed? Alrighty. Let's go to Mogwin's palace. We do a little running. I can't see. Now I can see. I'm surprised I like let us run through this area with a horse. Actually, no, I'm not. You can go to the palace at Varia's quest, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can just go, that's the only other way. It's by the portal. It just puts you at a different location. This is the intended way. <laughs> Favorite boss from each game? Um, Dark Souls 1, Onstein and Smo, Demon Souls, probably the Penetrator. Dark Souls 2, Fume Knights, Dark Souls 3, Gale. Um, Bloodborne, uh, it goes back and forth between Maria and Ludwig. I just don't like Ludwig's first phase. It's okay, but the second phase is where it's at. Maybe Ludwig still. Um, Sekido, Saint Ishin, and then this game I like Radagon. Did I miss a game? I don't think so. <laughs> Can I ping you on Discord? Yeah, I guess. Asking for permission? That's so nice. Favorite weapon in Elden Ring? I like Marika's hammer. It's really cool. <laughs> Somber dragon here? I know, but I have my shooter maxed out anyway, so it's fine. Just email him. <laughs> yeah, just email me. Just send me an email. Of the edit. They could have worked on this area a bit more. I agree. I think Morgan's Palace is probably the most disappointing area. Only because that it should have been a legacy dungeon. It should have been like Stormvale Castle or like Lendell. And it kind of wasn't. When I mean, they need to like, I don't know. Can we make a trade? We need to sacrifice some of the other areas and make this one better. Like we didn't need some of the areas in this game. Like, I don't know, like either Noxtellar or Nokron didn't need to exist. Lake of Rot probably didn't need to exist. 
consecrated snowfield didn't need to exist. We could have like traded all of those sections. For a legacy dungeon in Mogwin's Palace. Let's put the assets there instead. <laughs> Even half of like, what do you call it? Um, I'm trying to think. Might as well go with a multi-hit type of build. We'll go with... We'll go with... We'll go with... Ah, oh, shit. I don't have the bell bearing. Oh, bell bearing. The, um... The wet blade. I wanted to get a... God fucking damn it. I wanted to use Stormcaller or a Sword Dance with a Sacred Infusion. Sacred Ring of Light it is. Yeah, half of the mount tops didn't even need to fucking exist as well. Holy spikes cracked. Whatever, good enough. Good enough. I put it on the plus 14 one. God damn it. At what point is Millennia supposed to be fun? <laughs> At what point is Millennia supposed to be fun? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Once you memorize her moveset, I guess. Once you like really know how to fight her. If you wanna if you wanna learn how to fight her, go fight her at level one. There you go. Or fight her with like some dog shit damage. It'll take a long time, but you'll 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 memorize it pretty quick. And then once you go back to fight her with a regular build, you might enjoy it more. Who knows? You think Miyazaki hates us sometimes? I think he hates us all the time. Who actually cares about Noxtella? Yeah, Noxtella doesn't even have like an, a unique boss. It gets like a Dragonkin soldier and like that's it. Like Consecrated Snowfall didn't have a boss. Noxtella didn't have a boss. Siofa River and Nokron just basically had the exact same boss. At least Lake of Rot had a boss, even though it kind of teleported you to like a different location, but it still counts. That Dragonkin is the best. It is the best Dragonkin boss fight, but it still is a reskinned boss. I don't even like the Dragonkin soldier as well. Yeah, Astel. Yeah, Consecrated Snipe was a mistake. Like, if you're gonna bring back the frigid outskirts, at least make it fucking better. But well, it did, but like, not by much. <laughs> must abide alone a while. Quantity to over quality, yeah. In a lot of the areas it is. Which is fine, but... Welcome, honored guest. Could be better. To the, the game still has plenty of good quality. Of it's not like, shit, you know? The game is still flawless. Not flawless, but same still a masterpiece. Still a masterpiece. A masterpiece. Okay. Wait, do I have my... I don't have... Wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second, champ. I want a heavy attack build instead. Come on, poise break, please. Thank you. We might be able to get the one cycle. If I can get like another blade proc, I got this. Please bleed. Please. Yes! <laughs> nice. Hell yeah. That was cool. <laughs> We did it! Easy game.
Well, when you have bleed, it's basically like easy as fuck. <laughs> like, they kind of made it to where, like, when he gets bled out, he gets stronger. But, like, they just made him too weak to bleed for it to be, like, an actual, you know, counter effect. Because it's not really a thing. <laughs> not really a thing. Anyway, what level do we finish at? Level 132. After four and a half hours of playing the game. What's the worst Souls game? I mean, I like Dark Souls to the least, but I still like the game. Um, not bad. Not bad, and there's plenty of areas and bosses I haven't killed. I think I can easily get to like level 150. Probably even higher than that. I know, there's no excuse to not be level 150 when you beat the game. Uh, Wrenchman420 Glaze It. Thank you for the follow. Anyway. Is there another bo- Oh, we haven't killed Rykard. Let's go kill Rykard. <laughs> but what's like Rykard's holy resist? Because I can try and kill him with like... The Halo Scythe? Ah, uh, Flocky, thank you for the follow, man. But then again, he has like a lot of health. <laughs> he's 40% resist to holy, he's 20% to lightning. Why isn't he 20% to holy? That's dude. If there was a lightning art infusion, that would be cool. And a lightning projectile that I could use. 40% is not too bad. And let's just go teleport there. I'm not gonna run there. Um, and just to see what happens. Let's go fight him and see what's up. Audience pathway. 40 is not too bad. I mean, a lot of bosses have 40% resist, so... He's 80% resist to fire damage. So we're obviously not using that. Is Frost better than Bleed? Uh, in some applications, yeah. It just depends on what type of thing that you really wanted to use it for. Like, if you have a Bleed type build, Bleed is going to be better. And if you're using it like with Bleed weapons. But if you just want to proc Bleed or Frost, have, proccing Frost is better. Because you can do it more consistently. Pretty easily as well. And it has like better synergy with other types of builds. So, yeah. It just depends. Ever get racist comments online? Um, like DMs and stuff about like my race? No, not really. <sighs> not really. Um, okay, put this on, put that on. Faith, holy tier. 60 faith. I could have got more. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I could teleport. I don't know, it wasn't letting me open up my map. I'm like, why can't I open up my map? There we go, okay. I need more FP flasks. I have a couple of Starlight Shards, don't I? One, okay, cool. <laughs> Better than nothing. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Probably not gonna use a Golden Bell, but... See how much damage it does. If it does decent damage, That's okay. The second phase is gonna be worse, but... That's still okay. Seven flasks left in a Starlight Shard. Hmm. And the buffer is definitely going to wear off as well, so my damage is going to be like a lot worse. That attack is so stupid. I actually dodged it as well. Huge! What's my race anyway? I am Lebanese. And I fucking missed the most simplest of... Attacks of all time! How did I not... Dodge that attack? Same, actually? I thought you were a lesbian. 
Same thing. Why? That attack is so stupid. It goes way too far. I don't like it. Michael Zaki, change it. Please kill him. Oh my god. It's fine. It didn't do much damage. And I already took damage anyway, so... That's okay. Five flasks would be fine. We just have two healing flasks left. I probably didn't need this many blue flasks. <sighs> the hardest boss on level one? Hardest level one boss? Probably like millennia, I guess. I don't know. Oh yeah, Elden Beast too, yeah. Elden Beast can be kind of cringe, especially with like Elden Stars. Lebanese pastries go hard, they do be going hard. Wave of Gold? Oh, the Wave of Gold attack, you can just outrun it. It's more just like Elden Stars and like the one other piss dart attack that he gets where he flies overhead. Now we are the devil of the gods together. Stupid ass line. <laughs> Don't like it, not a fan. I don't like his voice. <laughs> I don't like it, I'm not gonna lie. Sounds stupid. It's definitely doing less damage. That's definitely less. Hold on, buddy. And my camera is deflecting off a bunch of nothing. How does that even hit me? This makes no sense. Ew, this damage is cringe. Oh, and I missed the dodge because it's a delayed attack. How does anybody like this boss? What's next? All games level 1? I don't know. Might do level 1 or like the front flipping marathon. What do you guys think? If we die, we're not going to do this again. This is shit. Oh, this attack is so stupid. <laughs> They're chasing me! Go away! This is like worse than Elven Stars because it actually does good damage. That still hit me. That hit me. What am I? Okay, whatever, dude. <laughs> My damage is gone. My good damage is good. Bye bye. I could have did it. All stats at one challenge? I could do something like that. All stats at one. Either way, tomorrow we're, we're not going to do a marathon for a little bit now anyway. Because we just finished this one. Do I try it again? I don't like him. Try it one more time. Might save my buff for the second phase. I use Golden Bell there as well. Probably the correct strategy. That attack is dumb. Go away. 
You have to move and relocate to another location. I hope you're happy. I should just stay locked on. I don't know what I'm doing. Stupid ass boss. Go away. At least it looks cool. What looks cool? That like unblockable attack that he gets? And do you guys like this boss or not? I know a lot of people like Raikard and I don't really know why. Like it's actually some people's favorite bosses which is like crazy to me. Like I don't hate him but... It's still like a gimmick boss fight. Bro, it's such a stupid attack. It's such a dumb attack. Not cool, dude. I think Raikard and Moga overrated. I used to think the same thing about Moga. I wasn't too big on him. But like, after fighting him a whole bunch, I'm actually starting to like him more. The fact that he's doing this attack this many times is actually so shit. Uh, do I stay at full health here? I don't know. Probably not. Probably not. Oh, I forgot to buff. That's what I wanted to do. I want to see his golden bell. How many floss do I have? I have four. I mean, golden bell is just 10% damage or 15%. It's a good gimmick fight. Yeah, it's a, no, it's a good gimmick fight. It is. This feels like it's more damage. Maybe, I don't know. I didn't want to like, I just like started spamming and then had no stamina. Nothing was good there. Nothing went right. I think the dragon, yeah, I think the divine dragon is cooler. I like him more. I'm gonna do this and stay at full health. Oh, come on. That came out so fast, I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at all the other stupid fire that's coming around me. I mean, it is a cool looking attack, but like, fuck the attack though. I must like dodge this shit. I guess I'm dodging it now, but like... That still hits me. I don't need this anymore. Now stop doing that attack. Name my next character Bingus? Yeah, sure. Apparently this thing did some decent stance damage. My back is to the wall. He's doing it again? What the fuck is this, man? Just do it once in a fight. That's cheating. Oh, I'm so dead.
This is so silly. I wanted to dodge it a bit later because it did it later the animation and then it didn't work. Because last time I dodged it earlier, then I fucking got roll caught somehow. I'm not fighting him. He sucks. Fuck this guy. We beat the game. That's all that matters. <sighs> got better things to do with my life than fight this terrible boss fight. It's not that bad. It's much more fun with the Serpent Hunter, that's for sure. <laughs> much more fun. Fighting it the intended way is definitely going to be the correct option. Anyway. Can't really complain when I'm using alternative methods. I suppose. Um, now what am I doing? Should I check out my comment section? I don't really care though. Is this, they're commenting a bunch of random shit. Fuck it, I don't care. My comment sections are just ruined nowadays because everyone just comments on my YouTube shorts and my posts and stuff like that. Not like the videos. Do a Souls NPC tier list? A Souls NPC tier list? Maybe. I did do like an Elden Ring NPC tier list like a while ago. The more you play, the more you seem to hate the game. <laughs> First of all, I've hated the game from the very beginning. Ah, that's fine. I like these games a lot. I just hate them when I play them. <laughs> I'm just a complainer. That's what I do. I like to complain. Um, I saw your April Fool's video. Why were so many people mad? I don't know. Maybe it was a successful April Fool's video then. Um, anyway, we're done for today. Tomorrow I might do a parry run. Might do parry only. Yeah. Do a parry only run. I don't know what bosses can be parried and which ones can't be because I haven't really done them, but we'll do a parry run. Because I've parried before, but I haven't done an entire playthrough with it, so... It's too easy. Bye, Maybe. Yui, my poopy anyway, woody um, thank you guys for stopping by. Should I go, like, raid somebody? I, like, never raid anybody on Twitch. Let's go raid somebody. Who do I raid? Who's playing Elden Ring? Ugh. Why are those such huge tits? Oh my god. What the fuck? I don't understand. What's with all these streamers? <laughs> Goodness me, the first thing that popped up on my- as soon as I click on Elden Ring. Who do I- I don't no, Nobody deserves it, honestly. What is this? Never mind. <laughs> We're not raiding that one. <laughs> anyway, um, catch you guys around. Bye.